How your mama and them doing? Hey, this a fine picture, man. Who painted this shit? C. Ray, out of Dallas. For real? Yeah. yeah. We came to the Dallas show. We had it up on the Dallas show when we did it. That motherfucker so cold. Man, I got so much shit at the house for y'all. Man, I put all nigga this shit made, up. Uh, Remember when nigga made us them mug? I still got your DCO flat mug. Fuck with me, I've been I drinking, I've been drinking my, my hot chocolate. I need it. I got a whole bunch of them uh like fan art and shit. I got a box of shit. Remember we sent all that shit to my house when we was in Dallas? Yeah. yeah. All that shit still in my house. Need me some more shit. I'm gonna roll up the uh, block, cause you know I ain't feeling too no, good. No, no, I'm no. about to take my talents over to backwoods. Cause I've been rolling them and smoking so good. Oh, so good. Oh, I fucking went by Ola. Yo, if you're gonna roll up, come on. Yo, it a little weed. Come on. What it called, Grandma Pie OG. Oh, right. Did you smoke the whole thing? Died down yesterday. Yeah, you hide in the plane. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to take my talent over to Backwoods because I've been rolling up and smoking so good. You can find me in your local neighborhood with a bitch who is so far. Look good. Ooh. These motherfuckers here fine. Hey. Do it. Do it. These motherfuckers here fine. This how you I don't even your, roll up on shit like your this. Your girl got a little yeah. ass and you be behind trying to hype it up. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. 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 Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, wiggle, you got a blunt. Wiggle, 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 you gotta have patience since, with this shit. Since you was the, you know, you the, the nigga that showed me how to roll the blunt, you gotta show me how to roll the backwoods. Backwoods, you gotta have patience. I remember Flat tried that one time Watch and he just laughed at me. You gotta find out. <laughs> Flat tried to show me that one time and just be like, boy, he fucking that bitch. He, like, all he fucking that bitch all the way up. <laughs> Smoke that bitch. Yeah! Nigga be hating, nigga be capping, what's happening, my nigga, what's happening? Y'all. That's how nigga for to come on the track. So smooth like that. Hey, y'all know that the pre-show... Nigga be capping me, nigga be capping my nigga. Okay, what's happening? Y'all! Y'all! The pre-show pre <laughs> banter has turned into one of the favorite segments of the 85 South Show. Oh, I mean, most definitely. Like this is really important. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Pre-show like... Let's see how we do it. The pre-show like here in the band come off the bus. And they marching up. They like, here they go. Ooh, there they come! I said, yo, bitch, can't wear no jeans because she just caught COVID-19. I said, yo, bitch, can't wear no jeans because she just caught COVID-19. I said, I was going to get that ass till I seen her walk in the store without her mask. I, I said, said I was going to get that ass until I seen her walk in the store without her mask. She had them big brown titties and her booty was soft, but I lost all of that when I heard her ass cough. Ooh. When God I damn. heard her ass cough. When she lost her all of that when I heard her ass cough. I said she had on her mask and she started to breathe. Then she took her mask down and the bitch to sneeze. What is that about? She's so damn cute she didn't cover her mouth. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Niggas want to wipe her, but I won't even touch without the hand sanitizer. <laughs> Nigga. Yeah. That's how I'm living. Sanitize. Fuck how cute you is. Yeah, you gotta be sanitized. You can't give me no ass if you ain't got on no mask. You can't give me no ass if you ain't got on no mask. You right can't give me no ass if you ain't got on no mask. Cause that COVID-19 up, bitch, I pass. Okay. You know what? What's that? Wanna be a perfect ad lib just what? right there? What? Blue face, baby. Blue face. <laughs> it ain't got shit to do with that. <laughs> My man DC Young Flight, you put something together over there, huh? This how you gotta roll the backwood up. You gotta make sure it ain't dry as fuck. You gotta wet it. You gotta split it. You gotta roll your blood when you hit it. Come on. Ooh. Hey, so it won't be harsh when you smoke it. Come on. Be smoke when you hold it. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Don't let it go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Don't <laughs> let it go. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, 
When I roll this back, I like that. I like that. I was talking to the ancestors. I like it. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you know, geek niggas, I always hear that shit. <laughs> That's what happened when that pill kick in. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> hey, this nigga stupid, man. I fuck with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know how niggas is out here not smoking weed to get through this shit. What? What? Smoke a blunt and realize this shit still ain't over. You like, damn! Virus still out here! You got to get high. You got to get high. And then you realize that it's only July. God dang. Dang! Six more months. Mm. Five and a half, really. Six more months. Hey, five and a half, really. Six more months. Five and a half, really. It's a nigga out there right now who ain't felt the pandemic. Been selling pounds every week like, damn it, I did it! <laughs> <laughs> damn it, I did it! <laughs> nigga selling pounds like, damn, damn it, I did, did it. it! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story, man. <laughs> nigga looked at me and said, boy, what y'all niggas complaining about? I'm like, man, hey, Sometimes shit. the weed man be doing too much, man. The nigga oh, gonna have me in my pack. He can't walk out the door. The nigga gonna look back over his shoulder and say, How's your mental health? Nigga, fuck you! <laughs> right. <laughs> shit, it's wild out here, nigga. That's me shit. Uh, 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 a young nigga just sold me a water room temperature outside. I was like, nigga, you a bad motherfucker. <laughs> How you keep this bitch room temperature? You have been standing out this hot ass bitch all day. Fuck with me, huh? I'm like, I got you, young nigga. You got to. Room, the water. Nigga out here, you better buy some water out here from these niggas. What? Them niggas put the water in your face. Hey, boy, you hungry? You thirsty? Yeah, let me go and get it, bro. <laughs> Thank you. How much this is? That'd be twenty dollars from you, DC. You go up fifty, my nigga. You go up fifty. God damn! Pay fifty dollars for the water. One bottle of water. Where the cap ain't even screwed on all the way. Young nigga been trying to sell that bitch for thirty minutes. He been twisting the cap and everything. Finally catch you and know who you is. Put that get on you. Come on, bro. I'm out here trying to do the right thing. Fuck with me, unk. Fuck with me. You like? These right, young niggas out here pop your trunk and put the whole case in your trunk. What you doing? Oh, you buying all 24 of these? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> we like, these niggas out here are true hustlers. <laughs> For real, I love my city, man. Atlanta. Ain't nowhere like this, motherfucker. Oh, boy. Gee, you better watch yourself. Uh-huh. Where you at? Where you at? Where my little shit at? Yeah, one more time. Bring it back. DC. <laughs> Oh, you gotta stay with me now. Oh, 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 oh! oh. oh. What you did up? Put the flavor on that, J-O-N. <laughs> that would've been catch a heart attack. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, boy, you ain't never pop no pill unless that pill talk to your back. Hey, you about to die. You like, no, I ain't. Oh, yes, you is. You sweat. <laughs> Look, you almost read that red light. <laughs> if I was you, I'd pull on over. <laughs> Cause you about to die. <laughs> Niggas on them pills scurry. When I see a nigga on that pill, then nigga. Oh. oh. He be I'm trying like, to nigga, talk, and can't open his mouth. With your jaw, nigga. If you want to say, help, help. Oh. Help me, please. Oh. Like, nigga, I'm hot as a kite. Nigga off them jiggers. <laughs> Hey man, you ever get drunk and talk to that voice in your head? Now that's a motherfucker right yeah. there, bro. Cause that motherfucker give you the most confidence and compliments and all of those good shit, nigga. That be never hey man, fuck this shit, bro. <laughs> you got it, nigga. You got, you got it. it, nigga. You got it. You got it. just drove like this <laughs> too many times, bro. <laughs> what you doing, what nigga? Fuck are you doing, bro? Nigga, you the uh, man. You, you the, the man. man. Look, fix the mirror. Dry drunk. Look you at the man. Look at yourself, nigga. You got it. You, you ain't drunk. Home, you man. ain't drunk. You cool. Hey, nigga. That drunk you is a whole other motherfucker. Yeah. Especially mm. ordering food. You ever be ordering food drunk and then you have to ask them drunk ordering food questions like at the Waffle House. You need a scrambled egg, nigga. Y'all with cheese in that Oh, yeah. 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 Give me one of them. Give me one of them. Uh, <laughs> Bacon, sauce, you want all stock? Nope, nope, nope. Bitch, listen to me. <laughs> bacon, I want several orders of bacon. I 
want several you want your bacon sauce. cooked? I want that shit crispy on the tips. <laughs> and I want the middle a little flimsy. Okay. Who Chris cooking? Hey, who cooking? I'm cooking, bitch, now. Hey, man, crispy on the tips. Flimsy in the middle. Say no more, on the back, say here. <laughs> huh? Say crispy, bitch, now. <laughs> that nigga put that shit over that bacon. Hell yeah, that's what he did. That nigga put like that motherfucker on there. Oh, shit. See, Bro, I was boy. on a different drug. I used to be on Miley's. And Zan, that shit had you looking at them folk like. You don't remember what the fuck you did. <laughs> Thank you working that WAP out. What you want? <laughs> they like, sir, what you gonna get? No, what you gonna get? Huh? <laughs> Come on, man. Ain't got all day now. What you need now? I got all these folk that need orders, bitch. What do you want? Sir, can you order, bitch? Can you order? Come on, hey man. He want the tips fried. Flavors in the milk. What you want, bitch, dog? Nigga, <laughs> you mean to tell me the Zions had you in there waiting? But I was in there waiting. <laughs> to go around there passing plates out. Here you go, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wrong table. Excuse me, sir. Here you go. Bro, you haven't cleaned off your own table at the Waffle House. That's the stupidest shit. That, that's when you really know you are in a whole nother place. Mm -hmm. When you clean your own table off. They're like, we're gonna get in the mess. Nah, I got it. Throw me that rag. <laughs> <laughs> they throw that bitch from all the way across the room, too. <clears throat> Catch that bitch. Nigga, it's not playing. Not even a little bit. I love the Waffle I like when ain't nobody there. They just be sitting there waiting for you. Oh, here comes somebody. You know the Waffle House is gonna be real when you ride past and the windows fogged up. You like, oh, they getting busy in they that get motherfucker. Busy they getting busy in that bitch. They getting busy when then the windows fogged up. Ain't, nobody, ain't, ain't nobody, in there. nobody in there. But damn, I'm like, oh, they in there cooking their own shit in there. <laughs> when you go in there by yourself, you can get creative. Nigga be like, hey, look, man, hey, bro, hey, you think you can put my motherfucking bacon and eggs in between two waffles? I got you, play. I do that shit all the time, man. Call that the waffle sandwich. You want why I me? Mean, why you want the waffle sandwich cooked? Hey, hey, hey why you bullshitting? I knew a nigga who used to have special dishes on Thursdays. He wasn't selling waffle house shit. You'll go up there and get you a special plate for some some whole other shit like neck bone, all that shit. Home was up there cooking on the grill, Dang. his own shit. Coming there, like, man, y'all want some waffle? Ah, ah, ah. We ain't selling that baby dog. What you who y'all got? Got macaroni cheese. We got y'all. Hey, where you at, home? In the Waffle House, I know home. you got your own business now, home. Where you at? Boy, my boy, Black. Where you at? Where you at, Black? I'm we fucking, fucking with you. Just to come cater some shit for us, Black. Why you bullshit? You got to think about it. That's a grill. Who the fuck going to tell on you? Right. Especially Somebody the in there Waffle cooking house. macaroni and cheese. Did you know they that, ain't got no Waffle house. that they base natural disasters off? The, how bad a natural disaster going to be off the Waffle House? Like if the Waffle House closed? Because the Waffle House don't never close. So Bro, when close, you said that, that's how I know the weed working fast. As soon as you said they based the natural disasters off how bad, you know, how bad the, the natural disasters is depending on the, yeah, the Waffle House. I, I want my house built out of whatever they build Waffle Houses out of. <laughs> you don't want that shit. Shit, yes the fuck I do. Nigga, a Waffle blast. House can withstand a hurricane, a flood, Everything. Earthquake. They never close, no matter what. Waffle House always open. So if you see the Waffle House is closing, that's how you knew COVID was going to be bad. The Waffle House started closing. It was like, oh, shit. The Waffle House closed? This shit must be going to be real. This how I knew that shit was bad, though. Nigga, I tried to order steak from Longhorn. Mm -hmm. Them motherfuckers had um, some shit where you had to take the steak home and cook it. <laughs> you can order the steak, but you gotta take it home. Yeah, take that bitch <laughs> home. <laughs> Them niggas were like, we ain't lost too much business, nigga. We, we selling raw meats out this bitch now. Damn. <clears throat> Man, I fought backward. I just wish they blunts were closed. Shit bad out here, bro. My Uber Eats driver asked me for some cash for a few dollars in gas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust that Uber Eats shit, nigga. I know you Them ain't be eating your food. I know you ain't had your mask on driving my shit over here, bro. Them niggas be eating your food. If you get some 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 fries from Chuckles, but that's and you always, expect the yeah. nigga to bring your bag of fries with him not fries, going right. in it, and he's smelling them bitches, like, <clears throat> bro, no way. I'm scared of that Uber. I'm scared of that nigga driving my shit. Scared of nigga driving my food. Nigga ain't even bite no He like, let me get hot as fuck. Shit. You think the Uber Eats is eating the food? Yeah, they what? gotta be, bro. Look at your bag. If your bag balled up like this, 
My bag don't be balled up. They zip. They zip. He done went in that motherfucker, bitch, dog. They seal them up. Your bag gonna be like that. But I was thinking, if I do fuck around and kill it's gonna be through that food delivery. Let me tell you something. My cousin work for Uber Eat. Don't, don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. I ain't gonna it. say they name. Don't fucking do it. But they all, they let Shut me know. Shut up, man. Cuck. No. You fucking around with Man, we nigga ordered some McDonald's and didn't get it. How the hell they gonna know at me? They're like, so you eating them nigga shit? Nigga, I'm eating them nigga. He said, I'm getting paid and I'm eating nigga. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> I said, come. I said, bro. He talking about, I said, bro, you gonna get raided. He talking about, bitch, I don't give a fuck about no star. Niggas still gonna ask me to pick their food. Uh, 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 gotta call. Man. <laughs> Listen. You can't expect a nigga not to eat your food, especially if you get your order the way he like his shit. You like, nigga, oh, man, that nigga got the fries a little bit extra crispy, nigga. Oh, what? Oh, he ain't got no letters on no burger. Oh, nigga. <laughs> nigga, hell nah. You got to be eating a nigga shit, dog. What the fuck was that? Trust a nigga. What that was? What? It was some shit came through the speaker now. I heard it, too. You motherfucker was like, I heard you. I heard that shit. Who watching that? No, oh, wait a minute. That was the I Bluetooth. Not that little motherfucker. That shit came out of here. We ain't high? Mm-mm. Not we yet. on point. I ain't hit the blood yet. You All heard right. too, though, then you know. This is some goofy shit. Yeah, I'm looking at it like, what the fuck? Nigga, all the weed stuck at the bottom of the grinder. See, that's why a real nigga don't use grinder. We got time for that shit. I don't know what, man. I was getting bougie, man. Uh-huh. You high. You tripping. No real nigga use they hand, man. Bro, all my weed is stuck in this goddamn... Look at this nigga foolish. Give me, a, give me a lighter, nigga. Bottom, give me a lighter, your yeah, mama. Don't mama. Word like that. Oh, that how I'm gonna be when I get old. Don't. I'm just gonna be cousin niggas. Yeah. I just call. Give me a lighter, little bitch. You turn to Rick James. Man, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> Jacob, shut up, little whore. This shit like glue. I'm gonna have to pass this to one of my cohorts off camera. To... Yeah. This some bullshit though. I roll mine up for you, load that photo. Say what? I roll mine up for you. I know, but hell, I ain't got no weed to roll up now. Damn, I wish this shoulda just stick, man. Oh, we got a little action. Here we go. You got it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. One thing I like about backwood, they real good. Once you get them going. Overseas, I feel like that's a good blunt to smoke. It's a good vacation blunt. It's international weed. It's a, it's a, it's a living life. You over here by the water and shit. You can't smoke this shit in the hood. Shout out to all my niggas who got their passport be going to other countries smoking mid. I don't know how you still <laughs> finding mid. Shit, shit you know, some going countries, going, that's all they got. The going mid going is the best country. they can do. Nigga, I know, nigga, when I was in Jamaica, nigga, that's what they was walking around. They was walking around the beach with a with Reggie, Bermuda, I'm not big Bermuda. ass Reggie plants, nigga. What you call and got You want to smoke so bad, you like, bro, how much you charging for a Reggie stick, bro? Bahamas nigga had the weed in his toes. I was like, man, oh, shit. Nah. I can't hit the toe jam I, blunt. I said, that shit might be moving though. Nah, nah, I ain't nah. That shit bro. might be moving nah, though. Nigga, now I'll you got, sweat different. Now you got athlete's jaw, nigga. I'll Fuck that. I sweat different. Fuck that. You got athlete's know. jaw now fucking with cuz. What? That but, fungi? <laughs> that fungi in your jaw, fungi. nigga. Fungi. Nigga, smoke that fungi. <laughs> I got it. Uh, got got it out there. I got that bit. I'm gonna tell you, you got some good ass weed. Eh? I wasn't expecting that shit. I ain't Who? gonna say nothing. Who? Cause motherfucker be like, I wonder how they found it. Yeah. You know how motherfucker be talking. Motherfucker do be talking. A lot. A lot. Can't even say shit on them motherfuckers. We heard them be, they be smoking weed over here. How do they get it? Now we gotta watch them. Ah, shut up. They can smoke it, man. Then what's up, man? You know what I was listening to the other day? Exactly. If it's about to wreck, they know, they know. I'm about to read If it's about to wreck, they know, they know. I was bro. Yeah, I'm about to read yeah. I'm about to read drop That's my shit. favorite part. I was bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got it. Now, you know, know, know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. when the nigga came in. These niggas just don't know. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> Got yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let these niggas know. Okay, yeah. that's the one. Yeah. The chop of a round and take a soul. The chop of a round and 
That's real. my shit right there, boy. For yeah. real. Yeah. That is Rex. They know. Like, they know. Drop that bitch. I got, a, I got three albums. Me and my boy Johnny Gold Sauce finna drop some shit. Me and Stroud finna drop some shit. Johnny like, Gold Sauce? Johnny Gold Sauce. Gold Sauce. Hey, man. Okay. I fuck with your music for real, bro. This is our it. show, and while we talk about it, man, give us some more of your favorite tracks that you done done over the years, man. You know, yeah. I love the joint. I always forget the name, the one you was rapping to yourself about now. I think it's called No Weed. No Weed. Oh, that's one that's, of my that favorite. That nigga got like 8 too. million views on, on, on Nigga, YouTube. 6 million of them is me. Slap <laughs> dog, going crazy. Real. Nigga, nigga your don't flow even is, know. You did about 15 my different flows on that bitch. Is that they know I and it. my side piece better than my main thing. I my hate side piece. Listen. That shit is my shit. I told you, <laughs> we need to shoot the video for that motherfucker like Kid and Play, nigga. We had the party, the Go house ahead. party, nigga. Direct that bitch. You know what I mean? We had the house party like Kid and Play, nigga. We dancing against the motherfucking chicks in the house party, nigga. I'm telling you, we'll fuck them up with that. Now do it, I'll fuck with uh, my other one, though. It's Pretty Lady. Pretty Lady. He love Pretty Lady. I love that one. That, 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 that old, so old, by, old grown man shit. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I got some shit finna pop out, man. I appreciate, like, 80 vibe, man, to be honest, man. Y'all was the first time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That was the first time I ever had to do the ever besides I sang it in church. Uh -huh. That was my first time doing my songs without the words in the background. Oh, and like and, and, and this a little and this a little thing that people don't know about me. Even though I'm musically inclined, like I love music. I just like hearing it together. It's very hard for me, even though I wrote it and in some music I didn't write with my R&B. I can't remember my lyrics. I mean, there's so many songs I, I, I can done understand. Wrote, I done done so many, but once I listen to it, oh, I know it, I'm in it. It ain't like comedy, I go with my shit, and I'm for go on stage, go crazy. But with music, I have so many words in my head, and I think this line coming before this line, and that's something I worked on for myself. But so by me doing it without the words, and I had y'all there, hey man, y'all just helped elevated me in another level with my music career. So man. I appreciate y'all. Oh man, we in there. Bruh, and that's, that's what it's about. That's some real shit, bro. It ain't because we were just sitting there. We really be riding and fucking with yeah, your shit. Real. I appreciate it, bro. I like uh right uh right now. Right now go yeah, crazy. Motherfuckers, go motherfuckers are like, where the music at? Yeah, man, y'all better go look that shit up. Curb music right now, trap soul, all my old shit. Live from the pain part one, live from the pain part two. Uh, uh, industry more wanted, goddamn, fam road to Hollywood, goddamn, uh, uh. Hey, I had went and checked out the shit off your first on joint. Damn, man. We was talking about it on the episode, the very first one. You were like, now, nah, bro, fuck, I got that shirt from TJ Maxx. Hey, yeah. And, uh, what was the I had about 20 polos from TJ Maxx. What? What's the one? Which one? Off the first album. Off the first one. You had like a green polo shirt. Oh, on oh Live from the Pain Part 1? Yeah, yeah. I had my, uh, with, the polo vest. with my, with my, with my A-Town hat like T.I. Yeah, with yeah. a skimp ass with blunt. With polo vest. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I had a skimp ass blunt. Nigga, I was like, him. We are called Live from the Pain. That yeah. when, you know, nigga was going through it in them streets, you know what I'm saying? Shit was real back then, man. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Richard, the crew stand up, you dig? Free foes up, you know what I mean? R.I.P. Princess Erica, that's my baby. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know, we just keeping this shit going and keeping this shit in. And music is really where I can let out my emotions. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, stand up comedy is where I can sit here and tell a lot of people, don't worry about that shit, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Laugh about that shit. Go ahead, go ahead. Woo, woo, woo. But my music, I can sit here and tell y'all, man, look, I done broke down before. Right. You feel me? But I'm still telling y'all, be strong though. It's okay. Right. Yeah, so stay the music, up. the music is what you went through. The comedy is like a reflection of how you came through it and right. how you make yourself get through it and all of right. that. Yeah, that's very true. The comedy, the comedy, the comedy shed light and shed that we can continue to embrace whatever that we got going on and, and don't allow nobody to allow a disability or your insecurity and let them use that as an advantage. To, to damn near demoralize you. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I like my comedy where I'm sitting here like, nigga, what, what, what you feel like is something wrong with you? Let's talk about it. Right. So we can, as a, a whole, we can, I'm gonna show you, it's other motherfuckers in here probably going through the same thing, but guess what? It's somebody here that's probably stronger than you at it. That can come to you and be like, hey, man, you know what I mean? I went through the same thing. Right. You see what I'm saying? But then when it comes to the music, I can sit and talk about my female. I can sit and talk about the trap. I can sit and talk about, being in love and all that, you know what I'm saying? Right. All that old pussy. All that old shit. pussy shit. But now, nah, man, I appreciate you. I love the man. fact that 
we so musically inclined just as a unit, you know what I'm saying? That we all get to I've been bullshitting. I ain't recorded nothing in I used years. this nigga, I used this nigga as an example the other day. I said, bro, the beat on it, bro. I was intrigued how every time we went, now this, this for the 85% because everybody who know this, know this. I was in, me, I was intrigued and I'm on the stage with this nigga. Everywhere we go, this nigga know somebody. He know they music, word for word, and from somebody who do music, I'm like, this nigga is a genius. Hey, you know how people say, I listen to everything? Yeah. This the only nigga who that truly applies to. Bruh, you might this get nigga in the know That everything. motherfucker might be listening to a SoundCloud rapper with a hundred fans. Then that motherfucker might switch that bitch to Charlie Pratt. You never know uh, what the fuck. I'm like, Chico. Charlie, you made me really want to go dig back into fuck the like, Mickey yeah, niggas up. And, and the, re the reason why is because, you know, like I said, me not having my father was a you know, was big for me because I got influence from everybody. And one of the biggest influences was the music. Like I used to sit with my Aunt Mary, God bless my baby, you know what I mean? I used to sit with her and she had like uh, five, 600 records in the living room and I just pull out the records and whichever co album cover I like, I listen to it. Right. So it just gave me an idea of just being able to listen and not being, you know, cause a lot of us when we come up, we restricted to listening to what you know, people think it's cool. I ain't never really had an idea of what I thought was cool. I just like music. And I'd have been remixing shit my whole life. I heard a song the other day made me laugh. When I was in 11th grade, I used to say this to bitches all the time. It's an Uncle Cracker song. I don't know if you remember Uncle Cracker. It's yeah, the yeah, white yeah, dude. big white boy. The big white boy, man. He had a song, give me the beat, Bob, to feed my soul. Yeah. Level. Nigga, I used to walk up to chicks, nigga, in the hallway. If you know me, you know this is the case. I'm like, she got a fat ass, my dick gon' swole. I wanna put my cock in your coochie hole and twist away. <laughs> nigga, that's the type of shit I've been doing. So it's just that that music, having that music, just being musically inclined is something that we all, cause I draw from all of y'all. Like seeing you, I done seen you, my nigga, just out of nowhere, just come in the room and just dick, 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 and the shit be fire. And I'm like, this nigga is amazing. And this nigga is the same. He didn't put me on the shit that I never heard before that you would think that I would heard before, but I never heard it before. So it's like. Cause I'll be like, bro, if you like this, you gonna love this shit. Right. But man, me and this nigga be riding around listening to the craziest shit. Steve Miller band, nigga. Like, Abra, Kadabra. Yeah, all type of wild shit. Bro. I wanna reach out and grab. This shit be hard. And see, I was so in a lane, like, I had a different upbringing when it came to Nigga, music. listen to Johnny Cash. Oh, yeah. Who? Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Who the hell is that? The coldest white the man coldest never white go in the studio yes. and record a song. Yes. I fought with John B. That nigga. No, no, no. John B. Cold, too. Hey, Johnny Ooh. Cash Ooh. would be John B. Racist granddad. Yeah. But, but John be black. Like, Look, Johnny Cash is one of the coldest <laughs> motherfuckers in music. And his wife was black. You yeah, gotta fuck with Johnny, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash got a song about a horse, nigga. He made a song about his horse like it was a Ferrari. And they yeah. came, but for real, bro, Johnny Cash was making songs like rappers make back in the day. A nigga was rapping about it, his horse like niggas rap about it, they cars. You know what I'm saying? Back about 18 and 25, I left Tennessee very much alive. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I never would have made it through the Arkansas mud if I hadn't been riding on the Tennessee, Tennessee stud. The yeah. Tennessee stud was long and lean, the color of the sun and his eyes were green. I had the fire and he had the thud. There never was a horse like a Tennessee, Tennessee stud. <laughs> Man, see, I was so... My mama had me listening to gospel. Like, we couldn't play. Now, I never... That's listen, one, listen. One you couldn't, music, I never you couldn't to, play bro. nothing in my mama's car. What? I'm talking about from 7 a.m. to when you get home, glory, glory! <laughs> nigga, that's why I used to go to school going so crazy. Nigga, I knew what you call back then. That, uh, he, he, I uh, just heard that uh, for the nigga, first Nigga, I did that shit in class one day. This year. I couldn't wait to go to school, nigga. We riding in the morning. All I hear, uh, he, he. I'm like, bro, who the hell is this? Right. Nigga, I'm like, Rance nigga, at nigga, I went to school and did that shit and got kicked out. Bro, I swear to God, I heard something about the name jesus for the first time in 2020 i never listened to that song before bro true what? story i came out to that shit you when i never, was, heard, I never shit? heard it bro i swear to god i never heard the song before that's the thing of all the music i know something i never had the name jesus. man that nigga man that nigga rance <laughs> allen made me a fan for life when that nigga came on doing that shit something about the name jesus 
something about the name Jesus. I'm like, this nigga go, it is the sweet, sweet, sweet name I know and I, I love. I'm like, nigga, this nigga's going crazy. Hey. I went to class. I went to class. <laughs> and with, with me, it's never I draw attention. I just do what I want. Like, I don't give a fuck. You dig what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm in class, nigga, and I'm just seeing that beat. I'm right. And the nigga, I don't know where it came from. Out the blue. Hey, bro, I would have paid. Think about Jesus. Look at me. I'm like, man, I already know. I'm telling you, boy. Press, press was off. All right, all right. Shit. Something about the name Jesus. Where that came from? Where that came from? That is the bump and grind of gospel music. I don't care what nobody say, nigga. Something about the name Jesus is the bump and grind of gospel music. If you if you a Christian and you ain't. Hit your wife to something about the name Jesus, you are missing out. Oh, hell no. no. Uh, we fucking what? the gospel now. Why not? I can't do ain't it. Ain't that what you spoke? Well, what if, if you're a Christian, what do you have sex to? Shit, everything but gospel. <laughs> Nigga, if, so that, if, if that come on, me, if you something about it, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Bruh, hold on, hold on. I don't understand. Nigga, you don't even want to hit the computer, you butt at that. You like, shit, <laughs> God, hold on. <laughs> How the hell they get but on But if you're not time. supposed to listen to secular music, then what do you make love to as a, as a Christian person? Huh? Silence? Silence. Yeah, that's, no. That silence ain't happening. Ain't that ain't happening. Ain't nobody fucking in silence. Unless you fucking. She moanish. That's all the music. But silence? Somebody got to make some noise. <laughs> you alive, man. Shit, wake up. I ain't really got time, man. Let me go ahead and be clear, man. Check this out. If you looking for a good place, man, that have fresh food, Deliver on time and give back to the community. Nigga, Hello Fresh <laughs> offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe route, including low low calorie, vegetarian, and family friendly recipes every week. You know, cause I got a second baby. You dig? So I got to have somebody who gonna bring the food fresh. I'm talking about on time, and it's already prepped up. So when I cut it out and put it on the stove, my, my, I mean, it take me about 15 minutes. Hey man, anybody out there like saving money, you like discounts? Well guess what? You can save up to 28% by using HelloFresh versus your grocery store shopping trip. HelloFresh offers fresh, high quality ingredients every week for a super flavorful experience. So what I'm trying to tell you is, make sure you go to HelloFresh.com slash 85South80. And you know what? I told you to get back. On your first meal at HelloFresh.com, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take off $80. Yes, sir. So make sure you go to HelloFresh.com slash 85South80 to get that discount. Don't worry about it. Don't trip. Because HelloFresh be cutting out all the stressful meals, planning and grocery store trips, so you can enjoy cooking and get to the dinner, all right? So go on and get your cook on. Make sure you go to HelloFresh.com slash 85South80 to get $80 off your first, your first meal. And guess what? Included your free shipping. Oh, no. We, oh, we going to make sure it's free. Oh, yeah. We going to make sure it's free. But you know what? Restrictions apply. So make sure you go to HelloFresh.com and figure it out. Hey, bitch, that be quiet. Yeah, it feel good. T tell me then. Shit. Fuck, you just looking at me. Tell me. Hey, man, why you be saying this along. shit yet? Hey, welcome back to the 85 Sap Show. We just gave y'all a good, a good, great-ass intro. How y'all <laughs> living in this motherfucker, man? We in this bitch with the original staff. Yep. One easy. job that we know we gonna be able to hold on to. You know why? Cause can't nobody let us go round this bitch. That is the beauty of the world right there, Ooh, boy. Holy shit. shit. 2020, baby. Boy. I told, I feel like Lil Boosie daughter. I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. Shit it was real. Y'all thought everybody had all that optimism. Oh man, about four weeks, we'll be straight. <laughs> I told y'all, sitting right here on this couch is over. Nigga, we need to cut 30 <laughs> weeks later. <laughs> right, exactly. You it's said still, that shit. You said you. ain't nobody going to be able to go it's back to over. work. It's over. Ain't no way, but I, I didn't know, mind you. I'd be lying to you if I knew it was going to be this wicked. I didn't know it was, I just knew we wasn't going nowhere. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> that boy, that turned Oh, I boy, did not I know did that. I didn't know. I got I a do rag know. on right now. We gonna debut what I got going on in twenty twenty. But you'll see, bro. We you go. We gonna break it out, bro. Just to show you. 
fuck you about to bro, do, man? Bro, you, you know what time it man, is. Man, we bro. ain't got Chico. time for no surprises, uh, yeah, Chico, yeah, man. You know what time it is, bro. I told you, 2020, I'm making it. It's matching the year. What I'm, we not doing nothing regular this year. This is the year of you. You got to figure Chico. out who you are Chico? this year. Chico. I hope you ain't find out who the fuck you are you know what this time, year. You, you, what you saying, Fly? Man, nigga. Hey, Chico. damn, y'all niggas. Nigga, hey, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Chico, yeah. What the, what, what you doing? We got kids yeah, in here. Yeah, I know. Y'all look exactly like I'm about to pull my dick out. We got kids in here, Chico. I'm about to pull my whole dick out. Everybody, oh, oh, oh. The young lady went like this. I'm like, wait a minute. Nigga was like, I can't believe it. <laughs> this is how we go. going. This nigga Craig stood up. She about to leave? Nah, this is how we going, bro. 2020. Oh. Chico. Yeah. <laughs> Chico. You almost made me break this back wood, man. I'm trying to stuff it all the way through. What are you doing? Man. They got baby hot. Come here. Ha! I got the motherfucking Professor Ogilvy's, nigga. Where's, where's Miss Parker at? That's how we go in 2020. Chico. Who cares, bro? Bro, you Your done shaped you up. No, I see it. Yeah, you know, I'm keeping it together. I'm keeping it together. You know what I'm saying? You know, get what? No, I ain't no hater, though. You ready to pull that <laughs> shit off, man? Right? You ain't go out there like the hill. You gotta, don't let them see too much, though. Yeah, nah, I don't get you at this point. I don't you gotta, give you a gotta fuck. move it away. You gotta. I done yeah. came on here with the Murray and Burry, nigga. You think I care about the uh, <laughs> the, the, the 90s RB? I look mm -hmm. like I'm an after seven now, nigga. Well, down there, Joan, you hear me? Chico. Yeah. Seven o'clock in the morning. I was not ready. <laughs> yeah. You say what? I wasn't ready. I know you wasn't, but it is what it is. Nobody was. I am, though. I'm ready. Who twisted it? I'm ready. It? Who twisted it? Oh, yeah. That's a, a salute to the lovely young lady who came over and did my hair for the first time Nigga, in my life. Nigga, you at home getting your hair done. Yeah, bro. 2020. <laughs> 2020, my nigga. Nigga living out here drinking. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Give me, bro. You got to give it to me, bro. That's what I do. I'm living all my young niggas' fantasies 2020. I ain't never had hair in my life. This yeah. year, I'm going, I'm going hard. Nigga living you out think I ain't about to get the cornrows? I used to want to be Allen Iverson when I was a young nigga. They coming. 2020. Oh! Can we live without a dream? Bro, you hear me? All the dreams, bro. That's how I Bro, you dumb as fuck, bro. I don't bro. give a fuck. You know it, Fly. I don't care. I told ah! you, niggas. Like I said, I told y'all niggas it's not going down. Hey, man! Yeah! <laughs> I'm just going to keep stuffing this back. Keep wood. stuffing it, bro. Ah! You not, I'm telling you, but we're going to keep it going. <laughs> By the end of this year, I'm telling you, I'm going to be. Maxwell, all these niggas, you gotta be fucked up. Boy, with none of this. It's hell, boy. There's no I way. I know people hell. gonna be watching like it took him forever to roll that. I'm just stuffing it. I ain't. I just roll the bottom and stuff the top. You done? Yeah, you done turned that into boy. a cone. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't in no hurry to finish. Y'all don't worry about me. Niggas, <laughs> nigga can't believe it. I already know. Dog. See the nigga balling all my life. Dude, DC, where are we right now? But if you come out with some shit like that, I can't. He ain't gonna make it. Yeah, I don't think your it. shit gonna be able to grow like that. Your it, shit, your happy mm -mm, mind? Mm -mm. My shit grow like this. It's a wrap. And just right here is like smooth. How long it take, <laughs> take to do it? Uh, shit like an hour. Which is surprising to me, big as my head is. I thought this <laughs> shit was gonna take way longer than that. She did have to use two of the little clamp things, though, where I'm sure most people only had to use one. She said, yeah, this ain't going to be enough space. She had to put one in on the other side to keep my shit up. But, but you went to the barber, got a shape up. Yeah, I went to the barber, got a when, shape up. When the barber shaped you up? Yeah, like, yeah. Hey. You know Lito. Oh, Lito shaped that you up. That nigga Lito walked in and was like, you don't give a fuck, huh? I'm like, nope. I don't, my nigga. I don't. I don't care. No, nah, that just came out because, you know what I mean, I don't know how to wrap the do-rag right, so... Yeah, yeah, I ain't got that training. He going, he going through the first I thing. Process, yeah, he I got the lay the right. And then, nigga, yeah, how I don't like. know how to lay. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, lay. I'm still sleeping regular. Nigga, sleeping on the top of your head. <laughs> I done fucked my whole back up. So I got to learn how to, you? yeah, I'm good, bro. I you look happy. It. I'm happy to the motherfucker, bro. You, hey, man. If you'd have showed me a picture of me. You, you, you see it flat. If you'd have showed me a picture of me in 2019 or me in 2020, I'd have thought I went to jail, bro. Bro. 2020, yeah, thought, I have seen it all. I got locked up. Oh. Ain't no way in the world. Like, nigga, I, I got twist in my hair, low nigga. Dude, where are we? 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020 man. 2020, man. 
Man, Nothing. this is funny as hell, you man. You see it, bro. Could you imagine? Nigga, you wouldn't have bet no money on that, my I nigga. wouldn't bet. I ain't, I ain't, nope. None. None. If, if at New Year's Eve, I wouldn't have bet bro, no money on it. Bro, it's a nigga out there with that shit right now who like, man, nigga, I, don't, I been want to do yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, let me use me as the motivation. As long as you could do it. You see who my friends are. If I come sit with these two niggas with this shit, you straight. No, you fuck you not. <laughs> you, you straight. Better keep a ball head, nigga. <laughs> you straight. Live your dreams out in 2020, nigga. I'm seeing a lot of bald niggas grow, uh, go get them units and shit. Nah, see, I can't go that. Shout out to uh, Kev on stage. This nigga just went and got him a whole unit. He said he doing the com uh, cornerback look. Nigga got the whole Richard Sherman dread. No, he don't. No, he don't. No, he don't. Y'all ain't seen I believe it, though. Stage, I got twists. No. I believe it, but that's, that's thing. your shit. But that's what I'm saying. That's your shit. I'm not with the units, fellas, because that you might as well go. What the fuck is the units? Is that the man the, wig? Yeah, the man wig. Shit. I'm not with the units because if you're going to get a unit, what you might call? as well stay in 2019 behavior. That's maintenance. Call it a unit. Nigga, don't G worry about it. Keep it that's 100. The dumbest shit oh, no. Nah. <laughs> See, that's too. No. Nah. Nah, my he, man. He look, wow. he look like my boy Montana 300. <laughs> That's what he said he going for. That's what he wanted he to go head. for. He was ball ball. He's a baller, just like me. He can't go. He can't go <laughs> swimming. <laughs> <laughs> he go swimming. It's a rap. That shit gonna be floating in the water. Hey, guy, bro, that nigga said Montana three. <laughs> But he look just like Montana, boy. And Montana be going crazy with the ball. Salute to Montana, man. He look, oh, he do got the, that, like, he look like he going as him as for Halloween. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, man, it go man. with the year. Here you go. 2020, 2020, 2020 man. Mike. But like I said, I ain't with the units. I mean, but at the end of the day, if that's your dream, fuck it. I am with the units. Do your thing this year, fellas. Who gives the a fuck? The units? That's what they calling it? They calling it. Unit, yeah. Like, they had a, a you seen the video with the old man that they took 30 years off putting one of them motherfuckers on? That's what made me say I'm going to get a quick weed. Why? <laughs> you going to get one? No, no. but no. that shit was hard. What happened? Was, man, it took that... 30 years off on? Mm. He looked 30 years younger? I yes, swear to God. Literally. The old man. He, like he had thing. all gray. I'm talking about he was like, uh, like the old man of uh, New Jack City. He right. had that old, the old hairstyle. Right. But he shaved all of this in the middle. Right. Shaved it bald. All his hair that was on the side was left. Right. He put the glue on, shaped him up before he put the hair on. Right. Cut all this back here. Somebody put gave him a fade. Dyed his beard black. Shaped his beard up and put that unit on him and cut that unit, dog. The it looked like that nigga had. And him. the niggas out this way somewhere. Oh, they, uh, anywhere they doing it in Atlanta, this is the head capital of the world. Right? But, but think about it like this. Because nigga was like, hey, man, you come up here, we got you. I was like, I was just bullshitting, dog. But think about it like this, though. The glue going to wear off. When it wear off, and what if we go through a, a pandemic like this where you can't get in touch with nobody to fix your unit, and now you just sitting there I think with that a, was the, the reason why I'm that not was with the point the of them dropping with it. With a whole piece missing, nigga. You need a whole alternator right here, nigga. All that <laughs> shit gone. That was the purpose of them dropping it, to let you know that even in the pandemic, we'll fix your unit. Mm. Damn. Hey, well. They got a storage. This what it is, right, a storage unit. That's all this crazy. up in here in the middle. Damn, like dude. I said, I'm living all my young. When mm -hmm. I seen hey, that I could get, out your dream when right I seen when I could get them, I'm like, oh, nigga, you think I ain't about to have a motherfucking Maxwell? I'm thinking you about know, doing, I'm huh? thinking about doing some shit. Now you got titties in the building. Why you say that? Because them titties. Which one? Oh, these little, oh yeah, yeah. The titty dibbles, yeah. With the well, ball, and then we still, it ain't, this is done. It's never coming back, it's gone. Yeah, that shit gone. Yeah, that shit gone, champ. Yeah. It ain't coming back, that but I'm good with it. it. Like I said, I can look in the mirror. I looked in the mirror 30 minutes, I'm like, nigga. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh, holy shit. Nigga, you like your wife left you. Oh, shit, nigga. I was so excited, bro. I'm like, nigga, I got my shit done. Oh, nigga, mm. even with this gun, I'm like, uh, I, I ain't fucking. I mean, oh. it like 90, no, it like 83%. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a good number right that there. That is good. That's 83%. 83. Still loading. Yeah. And then the modem went off at 83%. Yeah, it ain't it was, nothing else happening. It's a rat right now. <laughs> signal loss. Signal loss right now. Signal loss. Hey, bro. <laughs> Hey, go with this year, bro. Yeah, 2020, you got to live out your dream, man. Oh, man, go Shit. with this year, because this Reef. is the wildest year in human history. Speaking of right wild, it was a great segue. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. oh. Speak on it. I said speak on it. Oh, man. Y'all think it's a wrap? Well. Riling up. 
don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. We just gotta know. pray about it. Keep yeah, going. that's it. That's all we can say about that one. I've been praying about it. I was like, Lord, tell me something. Cause I was about to watch Wild and that, and nigga Fresh, Fresh Prince, Prince came on. on. Yeah. I heard we ain't even come on. No, it, it came on. It went off though. Really? Yeah. In West Philadelphia, I'm talking about, what? I thought something was wrong with my cable, nigga. I'm like, man, I know I paid my bill DM, this month. Some people had nothing DM me about that shit. Man, I know I paid my bill this month, nigga. I'm like, hey, boy, what is going on? You gotta stay prayed up and stay innovative. For yes, me. sir. Goodness gracious. See, that's what I'm saying, 2020, bro. Did you even think that you would even be having a conversation where that was in the sentence? Hell no. Wilding out and canceled? Hell no. No way. <laughs> Never. Never, bro. Never. No, sir. No way, bro. Never. This is the wildest Never. shit of all time. <laughs> hey, what? That could it's add on to the more bullshit. Or what happened during the coronavirus? They're like, what happened? Nigga, we got fired. For real. Twice. Oh. For real. COVID fired us. Right. Then, right. Woo. Right. But get what, though? Nigga, we kings, nigga. But that's nigga, what we all are, shake back. That's what that all shit. is about. You can't work nowhere forever. Oh, yeah. Now that's what I say, bro. If 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 it is over, let's just say you know. Uh, hopefully it's not, but right. you know what I mean. If it is over, then I feel great about what we was able to do in that space. Yep. Right. You know what I'm saying? What we were able to create and the opportunity that Nick provided us, and us being able to utilize that opportunity to, oh, to you know all the attainments. Yes, you exactly. What I'm you know what I mean? So it's like. It's like being in high school. You got to graduate at some point. Now, do we, you know, want the building to burn down? No, we don't. But uh, at the no, end of the day, we don't even want to transfer. We school. don't want to transfer. Hey, school. You you right? Hey, we gotta but, go to another school, nigga. What the see, fuck, nigga? We in the twelfth grade. I wanted the platform to be around <laughs> though, so it could be to somebody else what it was for us. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Definitely put on. And, Definitely and, and, put a lot of niggas on. It, exactly. A lot. From from the from '05 till. Today, Kevin Hart, everybody, Cat, Cat Corey, D Ray, Afion, Afion, Leonard, 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 Leonard yeah, got he, commercials, commercials on all TV on every right day. now. You know what I'm saying? Put a lot of motherfuckers. Mikey Day, D Ray, you know what I mean? Mike Epps, Mike Epps, Did everybody. A episode Kanye was on. Kanye, the I was just gonna yeah. say it was the only outlet that was bringing the culture to the platform. Right. right. You know, so. especially in the comedic form. We had never seen no shows like that. The only show that even resembled Wild and Out was Whose Line Is It Anyway, but that wasn't the culture. Right. That was just a show. You know what I mean? Right. Wild and Out was bought. And it, I remember sitting and watching, and these people that we listened to, and, uh, and back then, you got to think it wasn't no internet. So it wasn't as easy to connect with these people as it is now. Right. So your main connection came from out of the TV. And to look on TV and see people that look like you doing something that you do in the neighborhood, talk shit, it's like, right. oh, this is crazy. It's something we can, we can grasp to. Exactly. It's something we can adapt to. But we don't really know what's really going on. We hope people can amend whatever the disagreement is, you feel me? Because I think that's what's even just with society. I want to make sure I use this word right. Every time a group of people get together, we always tend to have a dissension. Is that mm -hmm. the word? Keep going. Talk to yourself. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it's always some dissension. It's always on. like we can't agree on nothing. It's okay. We have a side. You have a side. If we can agree, you see what I'm saying to each other's. Uh, 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 oh, the word is right now. Hey, hey. When you agree to other people, places. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to be gregarious out here. You right. dig what I'm saying? Motherfuckers always just want to be one sided and just doing what they want to do. Right. I just feel like. We just, once we come to that point as a nation to respect each other's opinions and ideas in a way of life, we'll be good. We're not the ones that's disrespecting either, though. We're the ones that been disrespected. Exactly. So when you respond to disrespect, it's going to be disrespectful. Yeah. Right. And that's the thing, man. So I feel like, you know, that's why I think we need, like you said, that dissension to be dissolved because we don't look at each other as family. You know what I mean? It's com it's other people in this country. They we don't know the private conversations that they have with each other. Right. You know what I mean? Because they look at each other as a unit. That's why they can come into our communities and set up shop because they didn't already figured out the plan mm -hmm. amongst each other. Right. Mm -hmm. And until we can get together and have an amongst each other, hopefully, then 
You know what I mean? Right. We're going to always be in a position to have the things that mean something to us eradicated. Right. We got to stay strong for us. But that's the thing that I was thinking about, Do too, is like on the like other side, it's like, nigga, if white people. That was hard, right? Hard, that's what made me stop. I was like, yeah, was <laughs> but I thought you were gonna go somewhere. So I was like, <laughs> no, nah, man, you shouldn't. You gotta stay strong for us. No more riding in the in back, back of the bus. Now you the first time you was like, we gotta stay strong for us. Okay, well I'm saying. No more riding in the back of the bus. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we gotta stay strong for us. Hey. Just wanna take this time. No more riding in the back of the bus. Yeah. I was just thinking, bro, if white people we can't accept Nick Cannon. For us. Ain't another nigga ever going in that no bitch. No more riding in the back of the bus. He is the nicest, go, 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 safest, go, go, go. cleanest nigga we could have. No more riding in the back of the bus. He ain't even go, a Negro. Go, go, he is a black man. No more riding on the back of the bus. We gotta go, go, go. He know how to talk no to them folks too, man. No more riding on the back of the bus. We gotta go, go, go. We gotta stay strong for us. Nigga, go, go. Not for Kanye. No, nigga go no away. Way. I don't really know who though. Who but I seen a lot of y'all niggas was way too happy while and now got canceled. Don't never think I ain't see y'all. Boy. Ooh. Hey, you seen Ooh, You had that shit Ooh. here. You had some shit pent up. Woo! You know what fuck me? Keep going, nigga. Hold no, up. Oh, nigga. Cause I seen the niggas who would look too happy. Talk your shit now. Now I said we talking. Yeah. Making all yeah, them little yeah, memes that. and shit. Yeah. What? For us, somebody wrote seen all that a shit. comment on a pic on my page. What did they say? They was like, ain't no wildin' out on today. Ooh, what did they say that? I didn't know. Then I went to look at the show. Ooh, what did Hold you on. see? Big Willie, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Whoa, whoa. There was no while and now, and I was like, where? Where's our show? <laughs> oh, no. Where's our show? Where's our show? Where'd it go? Where's our show? Hey. They was that mad, nigga. We gotta stay strong for us. They changed the program, but not the guy. It ain't that a bitch? No more riding on the back of the bus. How mad you gotta be to, at a nigga for a rerun not to get the play? We gotta stay strong for us. You don't even want to see the shit we are? No more riding on the back of the bus. So that means it's in the air, man. Whoa. It's some old shit, cause that shit Where is over at this point. Where did I show up? Where did it go? We gotta stay strong for us. Say, no more riding on the back of the bus. Nigga, go, go, go. Where is our show? Where did it go? We do that no. Yeah, we gotta stay strong for us. No more riding on the back of the bus. In the back of the bus, I said. In, in the, the back, back of the bus, in the back of the bus, you said. In the back of the bus, they Ooh. said the whole community you was mad. The whole time, <laughs> they said. Hit it with that mic, Jack. One time, you hear me? They said the whole community was mad. Yeah, we, of course. The community has to be mad. That is our show. That's the wild and not community. That's the, our show. That's that shit our touch general, people's soul. You know what I mean? It's not what, just black, it's white, what, it's everybody. It's what in living color soul. was to the generation before. This right? how mad niggas was, bro. Niggas was mad at me saying they about to do the wrong shit. Niggas said, what? The show canceled? Nigga, we finna boycott Wild and Out. I was like, nigga, that is counterproductive. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna help. <laughs> I ain't gonna help a goddamn thing. Hey, y'all niggas is sending out the wrong message. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not hear us? I said. Yeah. We gotta stay strong for us. Why though? No more riding in the back of the bus. We gotta stay strong for us. 
Okay, Kawhi. No more riding in the back of the bus. But like I was saying though, back to these motherfuckers who was too happy to see. Yeah. A hundred black people lose a motherfucking job. They couldn't, you, you see how that, happy You couldn't that wait. That's how I know you wasn't really. That would, you know what see, made, the thing made about it. it is you got every right to your opinion. You do. But if I'm following niggas who feel like that, that they let you know. They already been hating on you. They been hating. You know what they fuck feel like me you're up? powerful. All the calls I got the next day. I got calls from motherfucker I ain't talked to since high school. And it's like, of all the things that we've accomplished right. and all the reasons you feel to reach out, it's not until you feel like I've lost right. that you want to get in contact with. Right. Yeah, they want you to be humble. They want to they hear, hear the... They want to hear, hear they wanna hear the, they wanna hear the They want to hear the level that they feel like you, we not right, equal. I exactly. want to hear your voice. And that's the thing. You got to stop. Standing you got to stop wanting to hear people's pain and start wanting to hear people's... Triumphs. Triumphs. Right. The reason why you people are so gung ho to hear about negative shit is because that's what you live in. Right. You dwell in negativity all day. So therefore, whenever something negative happens to somebody else, you like, ooh, they're excited. Right. Ooh, yeah. They gotta go through that shit too. Right. That's counterproductive, like you said. You gotta, man. I don't care about what somebody doing. My right. theory is, as long as you're not knowingly hurting yourself or nobody else, do your thing. And I want right. to see you win doing it. Right. I don't have no reason to feel like. Man, something bad happened. I need to be in this nigga business now. Right. You know what I mean? It don't make no. <laughs> you know what I mean? He going through what? Let me go holler at that. <laughs> man, get just... your stupid ass home, man. But guess what? A big question, though, that kept coming to me, though. What? What was that? I got on some just real G shit. You feel me? Like, we speak out in the open. We're not speaking. we speaking what's dealing with us, nigga. Shit. Right. It's our life. Uh, motherfucker was like, so what if they wanted to give you the show? I said, I ain't gonna take it. I got that question too. You know what my answer was? Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen because it's, yeah. it's, if it's not right. It, it just, it just, it's a chemistry. It's not, right. it's, a, it's a physical, that form, that entire show from whoever run it all the way down to the nigga, to the light man. Listen, because I walk around and I talk to everybody in that building when we do Wildin' Out, bro. It is a brotherhood slash sisterhood. Family. It's a family. All the way to the people who drive the vans in the morning, back and forth. Holding the people at the tents at the front. We know them folks. Hey, what's up, nigga? What's up? What's up? Like, it's a real family. So when we, everybody come to work at Wild and Out, man, everybody is not stressing and tripping about nothing. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, the really one of the funnest jobs ever. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, as a chemistry, especially I'm on a spiritual level, energy, all that gotta be right for me. So, right. nah, I appreciate it. I, I, you know, like you say, everything don't last forever. Shit, right. nigga did 10 seasons. Right. Shit, hey, you feel me? Appreciate it. At the end of the day, we still thankful. Like, nigga, thank you for them 10 seasons, Ooh. my nigga. <laughs> like I said, I, I would be lying if I said if that shit happened in 2014, I would have been sliding down the wall in slow motion. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Been in the shower. Like tank. Please don't go. Please don't go. That shit hurt, don't it? <laughs> hey, you fuck, bro. I just got all that shit. Why? Hey, well, let me get out this one bedroom. Fuck it. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, sick. They were like, we we know you're funny, but we don't know what you're saying. If they would have been like, hey, guys. We gotta go back. Go, go, what? I just took three years probation to get that motherfucker. You gotta be fucked up. Bye, bye, bye. I just took three years probation. I could have still been fighting my case. Oh, man, y'all nigga tripping, man. Y'all nigga tripping, man. You gotta be fucked up, man. I just took three years probation to come do this shit. But y'all gotta be fucked up. What?
Hey. Man. Hey, Los. You crazy. I don't I'm know telling you, bro. Man. I'm telling you. That, that, after that first one, oh, my God. That's why you got to count your blessings, know, man. man yeah. I ain't going to lie, man. Like, I always use Wild and Out as an example. Like, like, I know how to mold the show because I use Wild and Out as an example because we still employees over there. Yes. Even that culture helped us evolve with this. Right. Even though we knew what we had. We was doing this on the wild and out stage when we see each other. We were like, "What you about to do? What go crazy, go, nigga, go, nigga!" Talking without so it talking. Was, it was like it, we was building that formula there. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like, how can we not fuck with wild and out? So this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. My name is Carlos Miller. Bluechew.com. Trust me. At this point. You already know, it's people asking me, man, what that Blue Chew do? Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. And it's a sexual stimulant. Now it's not, it's not gonna cure any ailments or anything like that, but it will have you making sweet, sweet love <laughs> to your lady. BlueChew.com. If you can benefit from more confidence where it counts, Blue Chew is the fastest and easiest way to enhance your performance. These pills are amazing. Go check them out at bluechew.com. If you could use a confidence boost or you just want to feel like your old self again, trust your mans. Use the promo code. It's only $5, man. You can try it for $5. Go online, bluechew.com. You can go right on your phone. That's blue, B-L-U-E, chew, C-H-E-W, dot, Com. Hey man, make sure you hit that website and use that promo code. I just want you to see what all the hype is about. You get what I'm saying? Trust me on this. Use the promo code, get your first shipment for free. 85 South. I put that on everything. Times is hard out here. You feel me? <laughs> so for the people who, just like how he, he felt that, that was a true feeling. We all did that on the inside, and then when we woke up and were like, huh? What? what? Shit. Yeah. 20, this 20, shit. bro. Damn. I this shit don't even I sound right. I can't even right. drop down. Bye, what the fuck? Bye, I can't do none of that no more. Bye, come here. Bye. What? Damn. That shit to be all the celebrities coming. They thinking they safe. You, I'm looking in their eyes. You not safe. Bro, at <laughs> all. I'm tearing your ass Not up. with these niggas right here, you not. At all, bro. That's I'm talking crazy. about lows, like. Bro, like, nigga. Man, you know how many, how many turbulent times I've had at, at, the, at Wild and Out. Nigga don't even know the off ass shit be the best shit. Man. When these nigga got Very, the mic they and we ain't recording. That's the thing you got to keep in mind, that they have never seen the show. Right. Right. The they, actual the show. show show. The they show show. The show show. Ooh. <laughs> Them songs in between segments and the... You know what I mean? I went to sleep at your grandma's house. Uh -huh. Where you go? Uh, uh -huh. On your grandma's couch, I nigga. I went to sleep on your grandma's house. Where would you stay? On your grandma's couch. You know what I mean? That type of shit. <laughs> Spaghetti. With, with the, the meatballs. meatballs. That's, that's what, what that sound like. Okay. <laughs> nigga, don't even understand that. What the fuck? See, that's some energy. It's just stupid shit. I put it stupid right. Shit. I put a clip up on Instagram the day after. Annie, you know, salute to Annie. Love to you, Annie. Oh, love you, Annie. Love, Annie. Annie. This, this, one, this is one thing I hate that, that we didn't get to say on fucking Wild Enough. What's that? Don't be like Cosby. <laughs> don't, don't be, be like Weinstein. Oh, don't be like Russell, Russell Simmons. Uh, they all be touching women. women. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your hands to you your goddamn damn self. I <laughs> went on that team. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. But that's well, what I'm saying. It's that wild out. one of the most fun days I ever had on Man, this listen. What, and listen, salute to Annie. Like I said, Annie was putting up clips just over the years of us that she took behind the scenes. And I put up one where me and Dolly was dancing and you was in the back. <laughs> you in the back on the mic. <laughs> make some noise for, what do you say? Make some noise if you still alive in this bitch. Make some noise if you still alive in this bitch. I'm like, what? Nigga, that clip's so relevant right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> make some noise if you still alive in this bitch. I'm like, man, this shit, we that love that shit. Lady. Yep. <laughs> Can't put no hood nigga around that, man. Come on, man. I was in that bitch jail walking. They like, what did you see? Some goddamn wild and out girls that fuck that bullshit, man. What's happening? 
this nigga. Hey, Carlo, call me when we got there and go to the store. This nigga said, hey. Wendy's here, bud. Nah, 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 but man, why not with this shit? Man, man, that shit felt like going to school. If you camp. ain't going to school, it's camp, you bro. Go Comedy camp. camp. For two in a week, two and a half. Comedy week. camp, they bro. Fly out. Finna go chill, you did. You with your partner. With your partner. You with your partner. <laughs> you ain't work with your motherfucking homies. For real. You ain't even no these niggas. At first, it used to be like that. I ain't gonna lie. When I first got there, niggas was not fucking with niggas. Niggas would come to work. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. I'm like, damn, so now I'm getting clicked up with niggas like, but who the fuck niggas is it is? You feel me? Cause I'm new. But him, you know, him, and him. But <laughs> right. But look though, we weave through that shit. <laughs> And accepted niggas' flaws and was just like, you know what? That's just who they And you did. know what did it? You that did tour. That tour. That first tour. That that tour. That we went on tour, tour and we had to stay with each other. Yep. On that, that bus. First tour did Even it. before I'm that, I think this is what changed the whole scape of it. I'm telling you, people be like, what's your favorite season? I always say season seven. Right. Because we put in two cold ass seasons. I'm talking about that motherfucking Ooh. season six was so cold. They was like, we can't I mean, New York. do this shit no more. Mm -hmm. That your first season, remember we got caught in the blizzard on the way up yeah, there? The first yeah. And then on season seven, man, we took that bitch to LA, motherfucker, waking up the sun right there, nigga. We fucking around in the beautiful shit. We actually that's got crazy. time to fucking fuck around and. Lay this shit like out, and then that's like kidding. if you watch all the seasons, that's the season where they let us do the most shit as far as just like talking back and forth. Like right. that's what really changed the whole scape of that shit. That season right there, because we used to always. I ain't even like season seven. Me like, no, love man. season seven. I, okay. like, you know I, I, I ain't like that. I ain't like that. It ain't a bad yeah. episode in season seven. But it it, it's episode. a lot of classic shit that come out of it. But you know what I mean? I as far as my favorite seasons, my favorite seasons. Is, is it's not even really about the actual show. It's mm -hmm. the all the other shit that happens right. Right. that make my favorite season. Like, cause I ain't never even thought about that, but I would have to say my favorite was whatever that one, that one we was at Chelsea Market, bro. Okay. Yeah, that okay. one right there. I don't know if it's, if that's that sick. Was one, one, one your favorite? That was Chelsea Market. Oh, I about to say. Yeah, that, that was, was Chelsea first Market. Time we came I ever went to LA for that one. That was the first huh? time I ever that went to York. We came East. back to New York. Yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, as a, as a employee, and as a fan, that was the first time, and I fought with Safari, but that was the first time I thought we might have to fight. Yeah. Cause I the, say, bro, I say, The full version was a lot nigga, worse. <laughs> I, I was doing what the fuck you mean, roast this shit. I was like, all right, that cool. I made me a little more. But I ain't never seen a nigga get, ooh, I'm talking about the whole crowd was in that bit like, ooh, 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 ooh. That nigga Chico need that motherfucker like that. Yeah, nigga. I was like, <laughs> We gonna have to fight. <laughs> he just told Safari ass up in this motherfucker. And, and Safari and I fought with Safari because he took he was like cool. a champ. But he ran, but the thing is a lot of people don't know, like me and Los, that's what gave us the first light on you know what I mean? When people was like, who the fuck is them niggas? Right. Was the old school battle, that very first one. So it was so genuine, but the first time, and then they was like, when y'all gonna do it? And we always like, man, we, we gonna do it whenever we decide to. It right, ain't planned. Right. They, it's they, not they something we practicing. Right. Whenever he step out and say, hey, yo, Chico, we gonna go. Right. And that particular time when he did it, we really freestyling. So I see Slim and I'm just like, you know, he in the crowd. So I'm like, man, let me just say something about cuz to get me to whatever coming next. And right. this nigga ran on stage. So I'm like, uh. That nigga Nick was like, "How do you be?" Yeah, I made now in the back. That nigga, I'm like, "All right, we doing it." And then once we start going, a lot of people don't know that me and this nigga and all of us. That's what I'm saying. That talking without talking, we got a kinetic energy, brother. We can say something to each other without saying it. Nigga, so this nigga know how to keep that. This nigga's a master at comedy, so he knows how to keep the shit going. And he like, nigga, boom. Boom, it was like the nigga was, you know how a motherfucker tossing you the uh the, 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 the softball? Right. Like with a nigga out there with his with, with a nigga and he tossing the softball and you get fire! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it again. <laughs> Got you up there going crazy. Throw it again, gay body. Yeah. Oh! One more time. Nigga in the crowd. Yeah! For it, nigga. <laughs> so it's like. And that that shit is is beautiful to watch, dog. All of this shit that we do, like that meme of you and Hitman, 
When y'all right. niggas do that, nigga, that shit so know, goddamn we just, funny. Like, we would like, he would like, I want you to come and do that. Cause you know he was already doing it with the, his yeah. little brother was show. You feel me? So he was known for the battle rap. And I'm like, nigga, I fuck battle rap so much. Nigga, this a dream come true. Nigga, hey, yeah, let fuck around. But when we did it, we put a whole nother aspect on the game. So now we're just like, and how y'all was, it was like not only one person can go out there, you can get help from your, your teammates. At, right. Not only <clears> just <throat> to just enhance the joke, enhance the moment. You feel right. what I'm saying? And while it now allowed us and it showed us, listen, you on here, but you on here with 20 people. Mm -hmm. Right. Shat this motherfucker. Right. <laughs> That's the hardest Shad. part about like, comedy. Share it. Though, My because, like, like, especially coming from being a stand up comedian, because it's like, like you said, you have to do your own setup, your own premise, your own right. punchline. Right. So, but then it's like, nigga, if you in a group, it's not, it's not stand up no more. Now right. it's, this is improv comedy. This is what you call troop comedy. Right. So somebody, somebody gotta be funny. But it's like, the thing about it is, everybody can be funny. Right. But a lot of people don't want to be the motherfucker who gonna set it up so you can be right. funny. Deep. Some motherfuckers don't like to share the ball. Right. It's just like if you, that's why the Three Stooges work, because they would all whoop each other's ass. You get what I'm saying? It's like, right. Motherfucker, he might hit him for hitting him, and that's the joke, but they still doing what the fuck they doing in the set. And it's like, nigga, every, you can't just be the motherfucker who gonna do this shit every time, cause right. you gonna kill the whole, you right. know what I'm saying? Right, that's why my right. favorite so people like, ask me. able to be around motherfuckers who you can have a cast, or like an ensemble, and you know that he good at this, and right. she can do that, and that's what this is. And then you put these five motherfuckers over here, and then you got that, and then you got this right here. And if you add this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? It's like, right. nigga, you never nigga know what you're going to Right, and that's why my exactly. people ask me was my favorite old school battle. It's the one with ASAP Ferg, because yeah. of the way we set that one up. Like, we had already, we had finished the round. The round was over. They had ding, but I'm like, nigga, we going to keep going on the freestyle. And I say, I seen Los like, nigga, keep running it. What they going to do? That nigga, Lo, they did. And then Los was like, keep running it, nigga. I'm like, bet. So we get to just going. And then my nigga knew how to end it all the way. Because they get, you could see him like, oh, we got to finish this one of them days. They was, oh, yeah. we're, we're over time and all of this type of shit. So my nigga come in with the nobody likes your raps of words. It's now me, Rip Michael. And they said, Ferg, like I got the white girl <laughs> now doing the thing. She kind of cute and she got a little ass. Yeah. That nigga went crazy. See, Everybody on my team is a killer. Over, I got four eyes except yeah. for Jack Thriller. My name is Los and I'm that nigga. You want to fuck with me? You better check yourself, you nigga. And then, and then people- All that happened, even his other rap, like the part that people love, all that shit happened after the game. Right. The game was already over. And it's just being in those, being able to have those memories, man. You can never, those things you can never take from us, but that's why if you wondering, if anybody was wondering how we felt, man, like this shit is near and dear to our hearts, bro. Right, like, but don't get it fucked up now. That's just yeah. one of our 100 jobs. Right. <laughs> I've seen a lot. I meant, I meant to get back to these motherfuckers because we, we building over here. Mm -hmm. That is one of 100. Will I miss it? Hell yeah. Of course. Am I mad about it? Hell yeah, because I don't like that type of shit. I like to end that shit good. Right. Yeah, yeah. I feel like my bitch Talking moved about on it. to another nigga, nigga right, right now. Like we supposed to go out in Vegas, nigga. I did it my <laughs> way. But, you know. Yeah, we supposed to go out we with a We supposed to have a bang. celebration, a farewell, like, hey, man. We did this shit. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, I think they fucked up the history and the legacy of what was going on right there. Yeah, and I say them because I don't know who they are. They are, you know, mm -hmm. exactly. But I know that it's them and they. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And them and they. they yeah, them, and, yeah. them and they been going crazy in 2020, bro. Crazy. Yeah. Woo. Them and they showing their ass. This year they showing their ass. Yeah, they ever canceled the show with some white people offending the niggas. Oh, I was... Nigga, they ain't even cancel Seinfeld after Kramer said this shit. Kramer said nigga on Seinfeld? <laughs> You know Kramer what? said. Oh no 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 no! You're right. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm thinking he said it on the show. No, he didn't gotta say it. I know. I, I'm tripping. I thought I missed it. I was like, when they put that clip out, I got now, to watch that Kramer one. Kramer said nigga on oh, stage. Oh yeah, on he stage, like, like nah. he went crazy. Nah, nah. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. He, he was on his Trinidad James. That nigga was tripping. Mel Gibson told the motherfucker he hoped they get raped by a pack of niggas. A pack of niggas. When have niggas ever hung in packs? Look at Marvin Gaye looking at that type of shit. <laughs> niggas don't hang in no fucking packs. You right. Mm. It's the type of shit that goes. 2020 will really show you some different shit, bro. That's White people are up. upset with Nick Cannon right now. 
You said what? White people are upset <laughs> with Nick Cannon. If you no, would have said they this with, shit they bought music. Eight, eight months ago, nobody would have believed this shit. They buy his music. They can't be upset. <laughs> <laughs> they buy like, his music. <laughs> he went platinum off them. <laughs> <laughs> There's some niggas bought Jigolo, nigga. Though. Don't do That's a classic. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all no. niggas was crazy, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. We're just living in a sensitive time. Sensitive time right now, yeah. I don't know. They don't know about that, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I don't know. See, that's the thing. Tell us the thing, bro. When you speak, and it just comes from now, because how shit going on, you got to come from a a place of saying, listen, I understand what you talking about, and then I'm going to speak my opinion. This the thing, though. It, you see what I'm saying? It ain't like he said some wrong shit. It's just they didn't like the shit that he said. Nobody, ne- didn't nobody never but say the shit he, was wrong? I don't wrong. think he was never talking about them. I, they, man, Bro. them and they, they know. Right. They know about them. And then when he said that about they, they Let took it something. the wrong way. If you're a, <laughs> if you're an oppressor, you an oppressor. Man, the shit he you heard, what I'm saying? they said that he said about them. Mm-hmm. So when the word got back about what they heard, they went and told them. <laughs> and then them said, they said they about that. Came back with the shit and now here we are. <laughs> and the shit ain't had nothing to do with us. So what the fuck is we supposed to do? About Niggas them. is calling me, asking me how I am doing just so they can feel better. Fuck them. Fuck them and they forever. You heard me. Goodness gracious. Motherfucker gonna call me and ask me how another motherfucker doing. Bitch, I was there too. <laughs> hey, hey, you talk to Buddy? You think if I talk to him, I'm gonna tell you what the fuck we said? <laughs> hey, knows before you hang up, tell him, man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, man, if anybody asks you for a press statement, you say, man, I'm fucked. I don't know what the fuck going on with them. Because they still got some paperwork over there that they fucking with, and I want to know what's going on with it. <laughs> I ain't said shit to them, but they know that I could. <laughs> and that's the shit that makes them uncomfortable. I ain't said shit yet, but I might, because they know us and they know me. Now, don't make me fucking start talking about you, because you know I will. Because <laughs> the shit you tried to do to me, I ain't forgot about that either. I remember them. I knew them first. <laughs> So how the fuck am I supposed to feel about they when they did the shit to me? <laughs> Dirty motherfuckers. I don't fuck around with, with them. Because I know how they are. <laughs> They'll take some shit that you said and swear you said something about them and they had shit to do with them. Because that's the shit they do. I'm not getting caught up with them one day. I'm fucking with we and us. Because that is me. And they know that. Don't never get that part fucked up. Oh. Because if I got yeah, something to do with it, exactly. I, know. I gotta make sure you know, you we gotta straight. know. Take care of us. Because they don't give a fuck about us. Because they know deep down inside we don't really give a fuck about them. <laughs> Not saying that it's fuck them, but if they say fuck us, then it's fuck them. <laughs> and they understand that. Hey. Oh my God, man. Right. Now what is we gonna do? <laughs> oh shit. Boy, you just you just jumped in your ball. As long as they ain't mad at us, we good. Boy, that was that. You are you. But we still gonna have to fuck with them eventually. You are your Jesse Jackson, boy. You bad, boy. You and nigga. they better not try to do us like they just did us again. <laughs> we fully aware of what they're capable of. Oh. We've been dealing with them too long. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> nigga, here's the time. Boy. All right. <laughs> I heard, I hope y'all heard what I said hey. about us concerning them. <laughs> hey. I hope they heard it, because if somebody go back and tell them, they might get fucked up and misunderstood. <laughs> hey, the them in the day. Cut, nigga. God damn it, it don't get no better than that. You know about them. Oh, they did. They they them. You know. Oh, they you know. Hey, we all shit, know about hey, them. What the niggas say? Hey, it been going on. Hey, man. It been going on. I'm God's child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For real. Cover. 
I'm telling you, all these, the way around. Hey, they dirty as hell. My granddaddy had a Cadillac, and that he bought brand new in 1978. Motherfucker died at nigga, he still old 3,500. I was like, why the fuck you finance this motherfucker? 37 years, and you still old 3,500? Nigga, how much was this car? Right. <laughs> 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 that boy was a car. <laughs> we still paying for it. <laughs> 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 this bitch go up a thousand dollars a year. <laughs> Oh, this is Talking about man. interest. We're not nigga. interested in paying that. <laughs> nigga. Nigga. <laughs> nigga, nigga say, oh, 5,500 in 2020 on a 78 Cadillac. <laughs> what the fuck what? if I ain't paying a dollar a week? What the fuck you? God damn. Nigga pay you could have bought your freedom before you paid this motherfucker. Oh, my God. What we got from the research department? Man, it's a lot from the oh, research department. Oh, we didn't department. even discuss the entanglement. Oh. People been waiting on that opinion. How you feel about that shit? How you feel about it? How you feel no about chocolate? entanglement? He was fucking a married woman. <laughs> That's all that is. Smashing that ass down, Jay. <laughs> Young nigga, stop. Wheel. Wheel. You hitting that ass. He was like, come sit down. Let me tell you something. Wheel. 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 Boy. Wheel, wheel, wheel. You know he making a young ass man. Wheel, wheel. Yeah, yeah, man. He hit him with the. I'm talking about the mean ones. Hit him with the low down dirty. Hey, he hit him with the low down dirty. Oh, Shame. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, shit. Will, oh, Will, oh, that's my shit. nigga. Oh, oh. Oh, she better not make that noise. <laughs> that you gotta do this. That shit echoing through the house. They got, they the they got house. a boo boo right here. Oh, <laughs> nigga, you can hear that shit in the mansion. Man, nigga, that shit is know. unfair. Will was about to cry. That my nigga. He looked at it and was like, I don't think he was about to cry. An entanglement, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Anytime a nigga stop and then no get the twitch, he cried on the inside. Man, that meme they put out gonna replace the Jordan meme. That hey. one with that nigga. Boy. <laughs> Nigga, no twisted, but that nigga crying. Dog, that's the thing. What, what, nigga, you gotta understand. If you ain't never been in that position where you'd have had your feelings hurt by a woman before, you, you if on every national man, TV. every man that look at that picture know the shit that's going on in that nigga head at that moment. Like, man, this motherfucker got me fucked all the way up. An entanglement, what? huh? <laughs> hey, an entanglement, huh? Where you learn that word? Did that nigga teach you that motherfucking word? <laughs> the crazy part she is- She already he, had it ready. No. She had it no. ready for him. She, this is this the killing part. They this what made him make that face. He be saying that shit all the time. Ooh. And it ain't got shit to do with no shit like Ooh, that. Ooh, that's a cold, that's how one- That's why when she hit him with it, yeah. he was like- <laughs> Yeah, that's why that shit hurt. <laughs> he knew it, but when she tried to play a him on him in front of everybody, that's when the Ooh. shit fell out. Then uh -huh. you heard what she said, she was like, I thought we were done. He was like, no, nah, we were. Huh, bitch, huh? If we were, yeah, we, we, were fin <laughs> we were finished. You, you know, can we, always tell yeah. when a nigga just found out some shit for the first time. That entanglement shit hurt. Yeah. Yeah, because you could tell he. He grabbed their hand, he put them together. Because she fucked. I he believe, was holding this thing, he hugging like, himself. That's just what it looked like. It looked like she mm. had asked him at one point. So what are we? I what, need a hug. It's an entanglement. Yes. That was the soul crusher. <sighs> he knew all the fucking details and all that shit. That ain't hurt him. It was the word choice. He made her say relate. He's like, so uh, relationship. She's like, oh, yes, okay, it was a relationship. But they married though, so they they went there. <clears throat> I mean, I don't I don't see the problem if that's the way they living. If that's what, what I mean? you're doing. But after that, you can't. You know what I mean? You, can't, you, you, can't, ain't, you ain't take that opportunity. That was a golden opportunity to be like, look, man, this is how we living. I ain't, fuck, right. I ain't fuck with no married woman. No disrespect, but y'all might not understand, but look, this how we been living for a long time. This the way we stay together. That shit she said about you ain't leaving, that's real. We live by that, but this right. what we got to do. After this many years of marriage, sometimes you got to get fucked by somebody else. Let me tell you something. And that's just what it is. This lame in hell coming for a nigga saying, hey, bro, you can fuck my girl. I'm gonna be like, bitch, nigga, get the fuck out my face. What? I, nigga, I'm gonna get your permission to fuck your girl. I'm gonna fuck her without your permission. How many times you can fuck before you ask for permission? You don't ask for permission, then fuck. I know that from being a nigga. 
the hell, fuck, nigga? I'm not finna ask you to fuck your girl. But fuck see, you ain't, hey, you, you also ain't fuck been with you your move, girl. Bitch, you nigga. also ain't been with your, your girl for 20 move. years, so you don't know Need if you get permission? to that point. They will might be. They might be at the point where you like. What would you say? Bro? Yeah, big bag. Do your thing, bro. I'm, do your thing. You know I don't even be like. I don't be like when we when we do the goddamn pictures and motherfucker be like, hey, man, you you go you take my girl. <laughs> bro, move, bro. Get your weak ass, bro. Get your weak ass on, bro. Get your weak ass on, man. Baby, get you another nigga, man. Get you get your weak ass on, man. The this nigga here let you get it. I don't want your woman. It's because you don't want her. It's because she with your woman. You trying to give her away? I don't and want she bitch. with you, man. She you don't you. want her and she with you? You Nah, man. You got to make better decisions. Nigga, the literally nigga handing you off. hand his girl off to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She been sad. She can't wait to meet you. Go man. ahead, hug him. Go ahead, hug him. Go ahead, do all that shit you said you were going to do when you seen him. Like, man, <laughs> hey, what did she say, bro? Like, <laughs> oh, my nigga, don't. Nigga, like, actually left his, me, nigga actually left his girl. He was like, all right, y'all. I'm like, nah, bitch, you got to go with him. You got to, fuck it, you know? You got to go with that nigga, eh? I know you ain't got no ride. Go that home. Shit, entanglement. Entanglement, man. It's a lot of people that's in it. That's going to be the new word going forward, though. This, that's what I'm saying. This shit ain't shocking to me. Yeah, so entanglement excuse. ain't nothing but a good word to say cheat, that I'm cheating. But it ain't cheating it ain't because cheating it's already because understood. It's already that understood. You ain't cheating. So it's like if it's, you're in an open relationship. It's a cold word for open relationship. Like you if you're in an entanglement, right. that means that you can run off somewhere else. Catch you ain't a, got, no, you ain't got a sneak. I mean, that's what I mean. I'm just saying run off somewhere else in regards to where you Shit, where the, your them, home is. For them to have a round table, they was sneaking. You know what I mean? They that nigga, run that nigga off, sitting you get hit, with you one come leg back, under his leg. That nigga was comfortable. Now tell me. That was a lot of information to that's, take that's in with one leg. That's how you know that nigga was, he was, he was holding that shit in. What? You got to study body language. Yeah. I'm telling you. He was trying to, trying to restrain himself. That book of Eli. That shit, that, that's the wrong nigga. That the nigga we were finna see. That's why I got water. Yeah, I'm talking about my man had the mean face. Like that one where you know when, when she really gets you back, I'm good. When she gets you back for real and ain't nothing you can do, I smoke that And you hole. sitting there. Well, you see me, nigga. I put this shit out like three You sitting times. there looking, and there's nothing you can say. She tan your motherfucking ass. You bitch ass nigga. But this is what I learned a long time. Will Smith is a better human being than, than everybody. 90, 99% of people on earth. Yeah, and I give him that. He definitely a real nigga. Yeah, because he sat there and took that one he like took a that soldier. One like a Ain't no way in the fuck. He took that one like a soldier, dog. And and that's the thing. And I, I seen a lot of women saying, well, you don't know what he did before. I don't I'm give like, a fuck. listen, she ain't never had to sit and let everybody else know that it happened. Bro, I don't now give a no fuck. Oh, wait, wait, what kind of evil shit? For, is no, that? for, for right. another nigga to come out and be like, even speak on that though. Man, I don't, I, I'm selfish when it comes to shit. When it comes to pussy and things like that, I, everything ain't supposed to be shared. Of course you're supposed to say, yeah, we're in an open relationship. But that don't mean go out here and give away the pussy. That's just what you say to open up the relationship. You supposed to stop when it's your t- bitch turn to cheat. Wait, I was in plan. I was in plan. <laughs> I was in plan. 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 I was in we need to work on us. Now it's time to get our shit back like it was. Hey, how you go. stop her low? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we, we, we gonna do this shit? She about ready to sit down. Whoa, whoa. Now you supposed to, you supposed to renege when it's your lady turn to fuck. I'm sorry. This is misogyny I was re- You're not supposed to let your lady see what else is out there. Yeah, you When it's her turn to look, you don't want to play no more. Because as a man, you got to put it you in your head. You got to stop. You're like, ah, wait, this shit over. It's over. Time out. Ain't shit over there for me. Like, I'm just working on us. You don't need that nigga. That nigga friends with your son. Just look me in my ass. Look me in my ass. He is our baby boy age. What are we doing? What are we, what are we doing? Where are we right now? What are we? You going to stop him. I'm some I'm, I'm stopping. I'm chip yeah. When it's my turn. When it's her turn to fuck, I'm stopping the whole shit. We're shutting all this down. <laughs> Experiment over. And she was going to do it. You she can't take it. Them, no, you was finna fuck out all married. You can't take it. Yeah, yeah. She going no, to uh-uh. she she sit there and look at you. Oh. Oh. That's so sweet that you Logo would try to stop me. I'm not. You little dude, you know. Then the nigga young. Then get then off him, bitch. Little, he in there piping her down. You, you better know get he, off him right he now, hit, you. He hitting her. Let it, bitch. <laughs> he hitting her with the enthusiasm that you would hit your favorite young star to. <laughs> hey, that nigga Logo go that bitch with a 350 cell. 
<laughs> bro. Wait a minute. You get off of right now, you <laughs> slutty bitch. Hey, bro. You, you get off. No way. You get off my baby. DC, they ain't even fucked yet. They just hugged up on the couch. Oh, get the fuck out of my Get off of <laughs> You dirty <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> hey, you get like, off of right hey, now. Hey, you fucking with I DC. You really be like that. that. You can pull the strap as, back. Hold on now, partner. <laughs> I would've came as Mike Lowry for real. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Everybody but, gets shot. But that's shot. the thing. That's Jada Pinkett. Pinkett. Nigga might have been like, hey, bro. Hey, man, she said it was cool, bro. Nah, she Go ahead, bro. She said it was cool. I got to tell you. Hey, hey, hey. I almost hey, shot listen, you. I know. I, 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 I almost shot you. I feel you, bro. I almost shot you, bro. I feel you, bro. Hey, bro. Jason's lyric. This Jason's lyric right here. This Jason's lyric, my nigga. This Jason's lyric. She said it was cool. What you going to do? What you going to do? Mike Lowry. You know I got two of them. Book of Eli. Shut up. Book of Eli. Hey, for real. But you gotta understand, I'm, though. You might fight back for Jada. I'm he sorry. He said that on the interview. Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah, he he opened up back there. Ain't no way. He for you to sit there and think about that. Nigga. And shit, that wasn't even a question that nigga. was going on. I'm he just opened up. Nobody. Like so I this said, thing I, I have with y'all Jada. Niggas, cause y'all my brothers, but I'm not telling nobody else. Nigga. Not Jada. She ain't giving that to nobody. Nigga done fucked on your wife with all that energetic fucking. You an old man. You don't you can't fuck after that. <laughs> Nigga, you 50. All you good for is making love now. <laughs> Ain't no fucking. It, making love take too long. It take 30, 40 something minutes to make love. They get a nigga hit my own. Full side time with the block, 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 block. What is it, nigga? Block. What's up, man? It's man Carlos Mill over here at the 85 South Show. Something nice. I am trapped in the studio and I don't know how I'm gonna get something to eat. You know what I do? I pick up the phone and open the DoorDash app. Yeah, they bring you everything, man. DoorDash has something for every lifestyle. On the go with no time to waste, order pickup and pass the line. Delivery is more than just pizza in 2020. With a selection of your favorite flavors from across the globe, you can order world cuisine from the comfort of your living room with DoorDash. So make sure you download the app and use promo code 85SOUTH so you can get $5 off your first order of $15 or more. That's promo code 85SOUTH. You've got big plans for 2020, but when will you find time to do it all? Order delivery with DoorDash and take back time in your day. We use it. We want you to use it. That's why we're giving you the promo code. And for the people who don't know what a promo code is, it's kind of like a coupon before the internet. So if you go in there and they say enter the promo code, always enter 85 South so you can get the best deal possible. With door-to-door -to -door delivery in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can order from your local go-to's or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, and the Cheesecake Factory. Get the app. Go to the app store and get the app. You don't have it yet? While we still talk, I got food on the way. What were you saying, bro? Go to commercial. Nigga, nigga balls clocking like a clock is up on the <laughs> Clock, clock, clock. Nigga walking all through the house with his shirt off and shit. <laughs> you gotta sell all this shit. <laughs> I'm not keeping the house. My wife been fucking in. Uh, 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 so how would he hit that? <laughs> Pussy wet to the motherfucker. Pussy ain't been wet like this since 2002, <laughs> nigga. Her what shit don't even get like that for you no more. She in it. Her shit in there dripping wet. Plop, 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 plop. A nigga in there probably be a disrespectful hitting her in the summertime. Ooh, there it is. Oh, bitch, and there it is. Nigga in there fucking the shit out the summer, summer, summer. Five, five times. Summertime. Yeah. Oh, and he bro, love her. He kissing her in the mouth. Ooh. I'm an ass. I'm an ass. You know, she, you you know, know that she bought that. Even the woman, so even I'm the, ass the lady now. said, ooh. Don't let her, don't let her, don't let her like her ass being smacked. Woo! Uh oh, damn. Bah, she, woo! <laughs> that day hit this bitch again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh! My nigga did the John Cena. <laughs> what? When she can yeah, take man. that ass smack you know oh, that Lord. nigga not about to respect your wife? Nothing. He pushing her head and everything. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you like that shit, don't you? That. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Once you get that first act and she don't say nothing, you like, oh, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> and then it don't matter what a nigga had in the house. Right. He hit that shit a little he. bit. Uh, Cause she used to do that shit for him. You know what it probably was. Remember when Mr. Biggs? Jada! 
Mr. When Mr. Mr. Biggs walked in the house, <laughs> nigga like he don't even want to go. He like, what would he, he say, Black? Jada. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to sit on down. <laughs> oh. Take a nap. Oh. Take a nap. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> nigga, make yourself go to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to take a nap. Hey, man. That's a tough one. But, hey, that's what I'm saying. But then you see, he buddy, don't give a fuck. he came out with the song, Entanglement. <laughs> Bro, he got the song featuring Rick Ross. What is, what is she, Entanglement. What if she tells him and said, I like the song? Oh. Oh. No, nah, this 2020. We don't gotta diss that nigga. No, this, <laughs> he gotta get in the studio. He gotta come out. He gotta come out. You gotta you diss him on the head. Motherfucker, man, you think you that I don't trust you? This oh. <laughs> how crazy so 2020 is. So much time, motherfucker. <laughs> so much time. Will Smith gotta start cursing in this music if he did. She did that. You gotta do the first Will Smith song when you just come on. I don't give a fuck. 2020, <laughs> Big Willie style. We back, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Hey. Straight up. <laughs> hey, man. This nigga here is crazy. I ain't no way. I'm this not about to This nigga went bungee let. jumping off the Grand Canyon and got his bitch fucked. <laughs> they see that they have shit to do with each other. But for a nigga can be that gangster to jump out the Grand Canyon and you can't keep your girl. <laughs> he didn't want to. Oh, nigga, that's some crazy gangster shit. Oh, bro, I'm telling you, ain't no way I would agree to that shit. What? I don't give a fuck if we broke up or not. That don't yeah, mean go but then no don't fucking. tell everybody. Why you can't tell me Bruh. at Starbucks or some shit? Nah, buddy. But my, my man dropped the beans on that you telling me from the old red it. table? Bitch, we got a table at the crib. Hey, that we got to come over here for Hey, man, this stupid as fuck. That's why that nigga was looking at her. Say, say they go through, they get through all this really? shit and they fall back in love. They just, everything work out. You see what they said oh, at the end? And then you and get back with it. He hit it from the back. Her booty hole look different. Ha! Oh, He's she stupid. done bought the lyrics. He's stupid. Oh, I'm being honest, baby. Don't, boot hole. Don't want no strength. You niggas, man. Oh my God, I don't even want to read this shit no more, man. Go shit! <laughs> hey man, you really got me about to sweat my hair out in this motherfucker, my nigga. <laughs> Shit. It ain't just Will Smith. I don't give a fuck what oh, you did. Or how many bitches you had? 
If she gave away some pussy to get back at you, she is an evil <laughs> motherfucker. Like Jay Z said, man, yo, I know what I did was whack, but, but you, you don't, don't get, get a nigga, nigga back, back like that. that. Shit, I'm God, a man with that. pride. You don't do Ooh, shit like, like that. that. You don't just pick up and leave and leave, leave me sick, sick like, like that. that. Come Ooh, on, man. Boy, that shit too funny, oh. man. You don't throw away hey, what we had gum, just man. like that. Oh, I was shit. just fucking them girls. I was going to get, get right back. back. Now, that's the type of shit that'll be etched in your brain forever. Oh. But air. That's why Jigger, man. That's why Jigger, that nigga, he been giving us the game on every angle for years. He ain't just telling you how to get money. He telling you how to be a man out here and deal with the pain that can come. Oh my that God. That shit gone, mm. man. Cause that's some pain for your ass right there. Nigga told me. <laughs> <laughs> what the? No, stop it again, bro. I was just stop sweating. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay, wait. Come on, bro. I just stop sweating. <laughs> I said, what my play? He said, you going to go <laughs> Hey man, when did you smoke it, bro? We didn't even see the smoke. Did you eat that motherfucker, my nigga? That nigga Jay been over there. That nigga Jay went been what nibbling on your blood, bro. Man, let me hit this roach. That nigga been what? nibbling on your shit, dog. Oh shit, but it oh. should like a, a pop five cracker. <laughs> What yeah, this nigga is stupid. That nigga had it to me. He said, oh, here you go. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> what did you do, oh. Jay? Jay Owen smoked that shit. We gonna have to watch the footage back to see when he was hitting that motherfucker. I didn't even see the smoke, bro. That nigga Jay Owen been smoking the blood. Oh, he, he put it out because he said I'm a wolf ass. Oh, that nigga stupid. He put it out because he said I'm a wolf it. Oh, I can't do nothing with this Jay Owen. You like, you try to like that, you gonna breathe, you gonna inhale that motherfucker. Man, what? I'm gonna burn myself. <coughs> <coughs> Don't like that. Oh, nigga, Don't I'm about like to roll that. up another Don't one. Like oh, my God. I appreciate you, though, bro. I heard, I felt it. Oh. I felt it. <laughs> he didn't think he was gonna ask for that bitch. No. Nah, he thought you forgot. <laughs> he thought you forgot. He thought you forgot. He was like, man, that nigga's deep in the conversation now. <laughs> that definitely look like that last hit. <laughs> <laughs> when you came back in, oh, he, oh, he might have went out there thinking he left in the car. Boy, that shit was too funny, boy. <laughs> Damn. Boy, what happened? What that say, cat? Uh -huh. huh? Oh, 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 oh. What okay. happened? He just, he just kept it over there holding What up. was on the paper you was reading? The lyrics or whatever? Oh, no, that was the August Alcina song. We, oh, the, okay. the, the lyrics. The hey, man, fuck this song. It don't matter what that yeah. song say. We'll read some of the stuff. <laughs> He won. Get a blunt, fool. We, I read this one. This one has yeah. been. This one has been. Uh, I, uh, I can't. I can't lie. Like, this one has been the most confusing thing to me. I mean, I don't understand this. What you about to do? What you about to do? I don't what? understand how this is the case. Bro, what happened? I called you and asked you about this shit four or five times. What the fuck? Yeah, you ain't even talking well, about. Well, well, yeah, yeah. First, it's actually the first thing. The number one thing is the police who. Murder Breonna Taylor still haven't been arrested. I can't How? believe that shit. How? That's some bullshit. How Should is Marvin that? Gaye looking at that whole case? How some is that bullshit. possible? How is that possible that these guys are still walking around they went when to you the shoot somebody in, the, in their sleep? Wrong place and the person who you're looking for are already apprehended. How? How? We don't understand. We don't understand. That needs to be Come rectified. On, I, I can't think of the, the guy's silver, name. The civil lawsuit definitely you know got to I mean? come like on the in. The guy's the gentleman's name that's in charge of, of, of you know, the, the arrest out there, but come they on. They saying brother. that the black guy that having party with the, with the white folks, he out there had the guy, what? Come what he had, like brother. a golf tournament or some shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah Mr. 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 Uh, Cameron, come on, my brother. Come on, man. When you when you look in the mirror, you know what you see. You no step matter in, what. Joe. No matter what, you know that's it's not right, brother. You got to step on, bro. in, brother. You got to do what's right, man. Get them folks, them folks up out of here. Secondly, just as perturbing, Meg the Stallion. Wait a minute, let that breathe. Oh, Meg the Stallion. Bad body, bad body. Every time I see her twerking on IG. Oh, Meg the. Stop. Yeah. I said, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> only you could. 
Exactly. <laughs> Meg the Stallion was shot in the foot, allegedly, by Tory Lanez while trying to leave the SUV they were riding in after an argument. I'm Damn. I don't like to speak on KJ. I hope that didn't happen. Uh, me too. Protect black women. Please. You got to. Please, Damn. man. Damn. I, and that's the thing. It's hard to speak on because we, I can't believe. I, I just don't want to believe that. I don't want to believe that shit either. I don't want to believe that that happened. I ain't even going to put that in the energy. Yeah, me neither, man. That, there has to be something more for that I, my mind. I right. know 2020 a motherfucker, but I refuse to believe. Right. Like, ain't no way no nigga did no shit like that. Can't. No way. I mean, I don't, but Me, come That on, either, bro. but I ain't but saying that. I'm not one of them people that's like the accusations or whatever, but she already said that somebody shot her. Yeah, but that whoever did, you was a bitch ass nigga. I'm oh, that's and, and that and no matter and that don't got nothing to do with color, nigga. You was a bitch ass nigga. What do you mean? Whoever shot that woman, man. I, well, look, fellas, look, we got a responsibility, man. We know what time it is. We know shit can get hectic, you know what I mean? But ain't no excuse, man, for no shit like that. Right. Ain't no excuse. I got an auntie that lost her life to a bitch-ass nigga that couldn't take being a man and dealing with what a man got to deal with. So <coughs> ain't no excuse, man. You ain't got no reason to, to, to do nothing to no woman that look like you, brother. No black woman. Them are women, bro. Right. Like, come on, my nigga. Walk away. Right. Walk away. Run away if you had to, nigga. But... Yo, we don't need to set that example ever, so that's the boy. You said something. That that boy. That's, why, that's why I got my beautiful cousin right here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? She definitely was a fan of the show. She yeah, did the one man. I called in. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, right, they gave right. us that news. Yeah, they get wet cuz. And she always <laughs> fought with us. And I always came to the show, and you know what I mean? She she got killed on July 4th, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, by a bitch ass nigga. You dig what I'm saying? That was <clears throat> shooting in a crowd, and we had to call a spade when it, when it is one. Like, nigga, that's a terrorist threat. Even though you black shooting in a crowd full of black folk, that's a terrorist attack. Even though you black, you still pulled the terrorist attack because you shooting in, in, in a crowd full of there's hundreds of people out here. You don't know who you hitting. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, we got to do better as a community. You dig what I'm saying? At protecting our people. And for those who don't know, this is my favorite relative. So I got to continue life without my favorite relative. Right. You feel me? So. We, it's, it's, it's an adjustment, but you know, God got us. I got another angel, so you know what I'm saying? Exactly. We're gonna stay, we're gonna stay positive, you feel me? But that's the thing, man. You, that, like, we got a responsibility out here, black man. Like, and we gotta start taking more responsibility. That's what niggas <clears throat> do. That's why motherfuckers keep running back to jail over and over again, because they got structure in there. It's a nigga <clears throat> telling you when to get up, and telling you when to, when to eat, eat and take a shit. shower and shit and all of that because we ain't never had responsibility given to us the way we were supposed to give responsibility. And whose fault that is, it's a bunch of factors that go into that. But at the end of the day, if you a knowledgeable man that got a clear mind on your shoulders, man, be a man and take responsibility, man. Stop being a bitch ass nigga. It's never too late to stop being stop a bitch ass nigga. Stop being a nigga. bitch ass nigga. Rest in peace, Pimp C. Stop being a bitch ass nigga. Stop being a bitch ass nigga. Stop being a bitch ass nigga. I said oh, stop. Oh, I said stop. I said oh, stop. I said oh, stop. Oh, I said stop. Being a bitch ass nigga. Being a bitch ass nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Available on all platforms. For man. real. For real, bro. There's a lot of bullshit out here. Like, that shit be in y'all jeans, man. Been, you know, not losing their lives to senseless, senseless violence. Women and children. <laughs> yeah, right? man. Like, come oh, on, man. I, like, I come from an environment where that was normalized. I ain't gonna lie to you. There was a point in my life where I thought that shit was the shit to do. Be out in the streets, being a, doing whatever. A it, miscreant. It, everybody yeah. did at one Every, point. Everybody time. did it, but it was but I was willfully ignorant. Right. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> and a, after a certain point, you gotta understand, man, that life is precious, G. Like it's precious, man. It's you the most precious life. thing we got. Ain't nobody ever been like, whoa, boy. Boy, that shit was crazy on the other side. Boy, they got all types of shit in heaven. Right. Like it don't happen like that. Mm -hmm. You get one of those. Once you go, you gone. You gone. And you taking lives away from innocent people, man. The streets is the streets. I understand that we all, all of us come from the streets, so we know how. You never know what a motherfucker done did out here. But innocent people, man, people that don't got nothing to do with nothing, there shouldn't be no casualties of war right. if you at war, especially right. in our communities. How is there casualties of war? And you know who you mad at? You supposed to know who you mad at? I thought you knew them niggas. I thought them was the ops. 
I thought them was the niggas that you don't fuck with, the bitch ass niggas from the other side. So how did, how did this little girl and this old lady, how are they shot and killed when you supposed to be a gangster? And you supposed to know who you need. Like that don't make no sense to me. What's going on, man? I, I'm confused and I come from, I was raised by gangsters. So it's not anything that I'm confused by or don't understand. But what you got to know is that my nigga, there's, there, all that shit is dead. It's dead, my nigga. That shit is dead because you, no you motherfuckers, is not, it's not the same. Anytime you can kill somebody innocent, you know that they're going to tell on everybody who ain't. Everybody ain't playing the same game and everybody ain't, everybody ain't built for the streets, neither. Mm-hmm. Street man. different when that pressure hit. They be acting like they Ooh. street. You ever had pressure? Everybody talk the to the kick off. I'm talking about pressure, nigga. When you walk outside, nigga, you nigga. Them folk looking for you, then them folk looking for you. you can't go in here, cause them folk looking for you. Right. This nigga look like somebody, this nigga look like somebody. Like, this person follow you. Nigga, that how you walk. Nigga be looking at you crazy head. Yeah, real pressure. Y'all niggas sit y'all ass down, man. Yeah. yeah. Sit down. For real. Cause at this point in time, man, we you know how hard you making it for us to identify who the real enemy is. Exactly. When when, when I can't come to my neighborhood. <clears throat> Safely, right? You know what I'm saying? enemy right there. That shit you crazy. You dig what I'm saying? Like, nigga, and I come like from, you. we all come from that. All of us, we come from that environment where, nigga, the motherfucker upstairs from you, he launched out, slim downstairs, launched out. Every every building got at least four, five apartments with some motherfuckers that's turned up. Right. So you got to be on a swivel every day anyway. So when you realize the how precious life is, especially when you go through like what you just went through with your cousin. If you ain't never felt that pain, then you don't understand what it means when somebody tell you, man, to sit your ass down, bro. Sit down. Cause it's gonna happen to you. And it might not happen to you directly, but when it happened to that motherfucker you love, you gonna realize like, oh shit, this is what I've been doing to people. This is what I make people feel like. This right here, oh, this ain't the business, man. And it, we don't want it to happen to y'all, man. Cause we need y'all, y'all. Young niggas, we need you, bro. You young. Cause definitely what that shit taught me was like, when she passed, it was like, I it just came to realization, you rather live life with the ones you love rather than the ones you gotta deal with. Right. right. But with the ones you gotta deal with, you gotta find moments where you love them. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, now we gotta create those moments where it's like, okay, I know like you're a special human being in my life. You feel what I'm saying? But when it came to my cousin, I didn't, I understood it, but when she left, it was like, damn, this was like, my favorite relative, she helped me through a lot of shit. She helped me graduate, and it was like, she was my main supporter. You feel what I'm saying? And when you hear the stories of how she would be talking about you and she's not around, and just like, it was just so much. It was just like, man, I know I got an angel. You see what I'm saying? But it was like, now I understand, because you would never tell me a thousand years, I would be the one to have to clothe my cousin Cassie. Right. What? Guess what, this the turned up one, this my dog. Right. She had everywhere, you even to tell me that. Cause she don't be in shit. You see what I'm saying? But you have to tell me, hey man, gonna be a point in time where you gonna have to close her casket. When we talking about closing our older people casket, you know what I'm saying? Right. We coming up with plans. See, with that's we, what, we, we we try to come yeah. up with plans for them, not us. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? What, see, that's, that's what you call in life like defining moments. Right. Where you have moments where it's like, they're gonna be so vivid in your in your memory, you'll never forget them, and it's just like it, it it's just there. Right. It's you know, like as if it just happened. And you have defining moments like that where you can start seeing what's really important. This is what it is. Yeah, and but like, that's, what, that's what exactly what we were speaking on, man. Don't wait until it gets to that point to understand what's important and what you value. A lot of motherfuckers don't value nothing, and they dying to live. They right. literally have nothing to live for. And that's counterproductive. If there was ever a real revolution amongst black people, those would be the first motherfuckers that would have to be eradicated. Right. Because they pointless and they dangerous. You don't need, we don't need motherfucking, it's just like parasites. They're the cancer of the whole community. You hear what I'm saying? It's right. like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody respecting that shit. We living in 2020 where we got everything in the world trying to kill black people. You think I need to worry about the nigga who been living across the street from him for 20 years? This nigga mad because we got them, got a new garbage can. <laughs> like, nigga, we, <laughs> we motherfucking mad because we ever. swept our porch off it. That motherfucker think they doing something. Nigga, you think they doing right, something. Get a broom. 
insecure, man. Get a broom. Yeah, insecurity is killing our community. We all man. living pretty much the same. And we, we all have so the ability caught up in this whole fucking. Like but we all have the ability it, to, to, to tap into whatever that we want to achieve. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So that's why I just took that. That was the most painful and angry I have ever been in my life. Right. You see what I'm saying? Most definitely. And, and I, I'm talking about. I felt like that was the 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 peak of all angry. Where I'm like, okay, this is the top level of angry right now. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like even going through that situation, I feel like I can go through anything. Yeah, you most definitely. You see what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you can't make me mad. Right. You ain't, you, I've been mad. This right here, that don't make Different me mad. Different type of pain. Yeah, right. that was another pain. That Ooh. don't make me mad. Bro, I know how to move on from shit. Like, I'm not standing there. How can you move on from shit? I'm like, cuz, bro. All right. I've been through something that has right. made me mad. Right. That don't make me mad. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, I have to use certain things for what it is and what the lessons is, but it definitely, I appreciate this, because this is the first time I actually talked about it and even got back to work, because I'm at home trying to figure it out, y'all, on some real shit, like, yeah. how the hell I'm going to get back on stage feeling my, my heart gone, you right. see what I'm saying, like, literally, my heart gone, like, this is the heart of my family, somebody I'm trusting, who I'm thinking about, going to be over my will. You feel what I'm saying? Like this, I would give this person everything that I own. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, how can I maneuver and adjust and still be this person that I have to be? Still got to walk in my purpose, but I'm hurting. You feel me? Like that shit hurt, but we got to walk with a straight face. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, at that moment where I had to close, I still couldn't close the casket. I almost broke. I, I damn nigga see my breaking the hole in that motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just to the point where it's just like, I have to adjust, which is everything for what it is now, because I've lost a parent. We, right. we all lost a parent. Right. I understand that. Lost a best friend, that cool. But when you lose that your person. favorite relative yeah. in the family blood, right, right, right. this is the person that can hold your secrets. Yeah. Then it's like, okay, now we really just got to, we, 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 we walking in faith. Right. Like we being tested. For real, oh, we bro. We being tested. But it's it's gonna mold you, like we like I say, bro. It's gonna mold you into to to be able to find pieces of yourself that you didn't know existed before this. Right. Like it's gonna put you in a position where you see things and see parts of your character that you didn't even know you could possess because you never thought that you would have to go into that part of your mind. Because like you said, you this somebody you would put over your wheel. Right. You know what I'm saying? The same thing with me. Like like I say, I always use my uncle's death as the change, the pivotal point in my life. It changed my life because I remember how. I, every emotion you can have, bro, anger, sadness, rage. I mean, and I'm feeling all of this and to look at the world and the world still moving still regular, moved. dog. That been moving. It was like, man, what the fuck is, the, none of this shit that they've been telling me up until this point, I can just accept now. Because I see it don't work like that. Right. This nigga, they, I just watched this nigga die in front of me. He's gone, he's dead forever. I'm never gonna see this nigga again. How is everybody not fucked up? Right. How's the world not stopping? This nigga was, this was my father. Right. Like, you know, and my father already was murdered, but this was like my father. This was the person I looked at like a father figure. Right. That the only male I ever had living in the house with me that cared about the decisions that I made and the things that I was doing wrong. And right. Taught me how to fight. Right. How to be a man. Right. And this nigga's dead forever. What the, how's y'all not just stopping in the middle of the street and coming to me and asking me, am I okay? Right. And it let me know that we got our responsibility to ourselves, bro, like to make sure that our world is secure because the world is going to spin whether or not we own it or not. Bro. Most definitely. You know Them and they. Most Them definitely. and they. Ex point blank period. Most definitely. Right there. Everything going to continue to go. Right. You dig what I'm saying? And it's on us to continue because as the weeks go by, you like, damn. Damn. Like, it been three weeks already, four weeks already. Like, we still got to... Move. That's what really was fucking me don't up. Never stop Cause it was like, like, nigga, you still gotta move. Yo, go mm -hmm. ahead, get it out. Go ahead, wake up tomorrow, do it again. Go ahead, do it the next day. Yep, then do it the next day. Go to the front, get it out your sister. Go ahead, do it the next day. You still gotta move, gang. You still got your family, gang. Yeah. You still gotta handle your business, gang. Everything got to keep going. Now, 
you got to adjust. Now you adjust to life emotionally. You right. know how you got to, we got a certain grind. I'm, that was mental. This year was, this year was structured mentally. Right. Now I got to structure my life emotionally. Now I got to know when not to spaz. Knowing when, okay, knowing when this is a, a business segment, knowing when, you feel what I'm saying? Like Priorities. Priorities. Now we dealing with the emotional battle now, where it's okay. I don't know how I'm, I don't know how I'm feeling when I'm waking up. You know up. why though? Because, you know, we black men, we walk around and we operate outside of that, just like you said, outside right. of the whole emotional atmosphere. Right. For, the exact, for that exact same reason. Right. Because we can't, it's like, we just as emotional as everybody else, but it's right. like once you set that shit to the side right. and you be motherfucking tunnel vision, you forget about that. You forget right. that you're not immortal. You forget that some shit can happen to you. You right. forget that, you know what I mean, it is motherfuckers who Life who is out life. There. Life is life. Exactly. Life is life. But see, that's the don't get that's what I was saying earlier. We get so caught up in our own shit. Right. And tunnel vision. You forget that. Shit, this, we got a hundred motherfuckers who behind us who depending on us. Right. That's before we even become anything. That's right. at home. Right. You dig? So it's like, you really have to put all of that shit in, in the priority. Right. And know that you can't, a lot of decisions that you make might go and affect 20 motherfuckers. It might affect the whole hundred. But you know, that's, that's the, that's, that comes with where we at, is being the head of the family. Right. And we didn't choose that. It ain't right. like we grew up that and said, we right. the, we're gonna run the family. Right. It's the responsibility. It's that like, comes. exactly, because it's like when shit is good, oh, you think that, you think that, but let something happen. Right. You gonna call, you gonna call, you gonna call, you gonna call. Whoever it happened to gonna call last, because they gotta make sure you call first to make sure right. that you about you to do it up, right? what everybody else ain't gonna do. They right. are they call them to tell you what they're capable of doing, right. and where they need you, without saying. Right. And you know what you're gonna have to do. Cause ain't nobody else gonna do it. But to take care of all of us, how you gotta carry that burden. It might not even always be money. Right. But right. it's like motherfuckers in your family love to place and replace that responsibility, that title. Most definitely. They and don't it's want yours. you to be in charge of the family when shit is good. Right. But when everybody needs you, oh, you supposed to do this. Right. You know what I mean? When shit they good, y'all yeah. living y'all life. Exactly. But right. when shit go bad, they like, you got to, it's your oh, duty. Man. Right. Oh, man. Yeah, you, when you ain't the solution. I ain't think about you, though. No. You the solution. You know what I mean? You the solution. And that's why we got a responsibility to just, like you said, learn that, that emotional part of life. Because, right. you know what I mean? Like I said, it's like you said, the circle of life go to where it's supposed to go. We got to put our parents in the ground. Or I got to put my, I have to put Wanda in the ground one day. and. You know what I mean? My daughter's gonna have to do the same for me at some point. Right. You know, so it's like that's the way it go. But the the all the shit that can happen, the variables that you that you can't account for, that life is gonna give you, that you have no control over. Right. Those are the things you gotta learn how to manage because you can't plan for it. Right. There's no planning for it. There's no planning for if you lose your favorite cousin. Exactly. Or, you know what I mean? That Any was, of the things, was, and not just to make it all no about plan. losing life being lost, but just in general, COVID nineteen. You know what I'm saying? That it, no matter what happens, as a man, you have a responsibility that is unwavering. It doesn't matter. All you can do is not take it, but right. it's still there. It's never going nowhere. So you got to learn how to manage that on top of everything else. So, so think about it like this, right? I get us on the plane. We have a 4th of July party. Tom, what did you find out? I'm going to tell you. We have a 4th of July party. The week before, we had a... Uh, uh, my auntie birthday party, when I was telling her, when I first came up with a damn, when I was doing this shit, I was like, hey, cool, I'm gonna have everybody doing this. It's on my page. She in the background, hopping me up like, mm, and out, uh, mm, and out. So we have a good time, then I'm like, we all at the crib. And I'm like, let's go skate, cascade. Cause that's what we did. We were the best young crew on the west side. Me, my cousin, and my little partner from the hood. Cause you know, she, she inspired me. She played the drum. Man, me wanna play the drum. You dig what I'm saying? She really part of my musical. Talent, you dig what I'm saying? So we go to skating rink, like the old day, we skate. In front of hell, boom, net we do the same shit, fourth of July, what we doing? We go to the, uh, down to the country, and we just kicking it, but she didn't come because she had to go to work. So I leave to go to LA because I'm finishing up the app. I, I wake up, six o'clock in the morning, get on the flight, four and a half hour. By the time, you know, when you land by the land, your phone cut on. I see my phone cut on, it say, it's my little nephew and my sister. It's 911, 911, 911, call me, call me. I'm either thinking it's either my mama or something going on with my, you know, I got people that handling, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. So I'm like, all right, 
Then my little nephew just tip me and say, bro, Erica gone, bro. Somebody killed her last night. So I'm on the plane. I'm like, so you know, I got admin and shit, you feel me? So I'm trying to, people all around me. So I'm taking it in on the plane. It ain't really hit me yet. I'm just like, I ain't feeling this shit ain't real. You feel me? I'm just like, man, what the fuck? Hold on a minute. I just got to get off around these folks, man. It's too late. Now, now I'm feeling congested. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, them emotions, By the time bro. we land, boom, call my phone on, call my cousin. They like, I call my nephew, he like, yeah, man, somebody killed the last night, woo, woo, woo. Boom, boom, boom. I had to instantly buy a ticket, get Going back, back home. So now, I done spent nine hours on in the sky. Mm. While they, all this going on, you feel me? Land here, figure it out, woo, wham, wham, go see. I'm just like, damn, these folks done killed my favorite. This, no, you cannot tell me at any moment in time. I'm finna bury my, my cousin finna be dead. Not ever in my life. Not this one. This is my cousin. This is like my sister. We don't even call it. This is my cousin, right. but the love like is like sister, sister and brother. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. and 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 for, for that just showed me it was just like life can get you anywhere. It yeah. can hit you anywhere in high come, and you still got to stay prayed up. Throughout this whole journey. And through the midst of pain, bro, I promise you, anybody who ever gone through something, you ever just went through something, through the midst of pain, I dropped down on my knees and prayed a gazillion times. You feel what I'm saying? Through the midst of pain, I'm still giving God praise. We bless. We bless. Because not only uh, are we dealing with a battle in the world, we're dealing with a spiritual battle as well. You feel me? So once you understand people like angels and you understand, I still feel a presence. That's why I came to cope once right. of the, the ain't body never going is, away. You're going to feel it for the rest I, of your life, dog. Bro, I still like, it don't click and I'm done cried and all that. Like my cousin here. I know I can feel it. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. this is the first time I feel like real energy. Like, bro, my cousin is here, bro. Like, it still don't feel like she gone. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I want y'all to know, man. Even through the midst of pain, I still was giving God praise and still asking for emotional strength, mental strength, and physical strength because I still got a job and an opportunity. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all got to know my testimony. This is part of the testimony. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Where it's like, okay, now, when you coming from nothing and you about to blow, Everybody in your family, everybody in my family know what's happening. I got my, my, my little nephew, like my little brother, I done raised these niggas. You see what I'm saying? You got everybody coming up and now it's time for your family to get with you. You want, you want your people. You want your people with you, right. You see what I'm saying? You want your folks. So you telling me out of everybody, the motherfucker who really deserve it ain't gonna be there with you to see what's happening? You see what I'm saying? It, it's, it's like, now when I'm taking these trips, I'm just embracing the love for my family and what's going on. Mm -hmm. Not sitting there like, well, I did this shit for my family, but that's what's up. Nah, it's like, I did this shit with my family. Now let's make moments. You see what I'm saying? Because you never know. Because you never know. You feel what I'm saying? I got to love y'all because, nigga, this is what it is. So let love each other. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck all that. Everybody my favorite now. Now let rock. Guess. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, if you're going through something, just stay prayed up. Stay working. And see the positive in everything. You see right. what I'm saying? Because, like I say, man, it's a spiritual battle going on, man. Niggas out here losing their mind and all that crazy shit because they believing in shit they thinking and all that. You got to be strong. Caught up. You got to be strong because it's, it's a traps everywhere. You see what I'm saying? And we, and we need for all, everybody out there, all the kings to know and what's going on. Protect your energy. Exactly. Man, speaking of some positive shit, this lady sent me a DM about this show, man. I know we don't hear, we talk all kind of shit, but people, a lot of people don't understand that. Man, a laugh will help somebody get through some shit just like this. Right. You know what I mean? This lady hit me, said she was with her husband for 10 years, and they came to our show. And I think it was Montgomery, mm -hmm. one of those Alabama shows. So they've been together 10 years, been struggling with infertility. They left the show that night and got pregnant. They just, then they baby was five months, man. Oh, skeet, skeet, motherfucker. Oh, skeet, skeet. Laugh long hill. 
went home and got pregnant that night. Boom! The baby got the baby just turned about six months. Bro. Six months? What's she name? Bro, we out here helping wow. black people reproduce. What's well, she name the baby? Janiah. 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 That's John. Anthony. Aya. Aya. I'm me. Yep. That is. Them and they. If y'all have another one, y'all gotta name them uh, uh, Jamal. Bernard. No, you don't. Richards. <laughs> ah, Jamal Bernard Richards. Jamal Bernard Richards. How you doing? Jamal Bernard so, Richards. Somebody Jamal watching Bernard this show Richards and going to be like, nigga, that's my name. <laughs> Jamal Bernard hey, Richards, bro. Jamal, hey, if a nigga named Jamal Bernard Richards. <laughs> I got you three first names, my nigga. <laughs> three first names? <laughs> you really got three daddies. Hey, you, you don't know, <laughs> man. No, I got name that nigga Bernard. I don't know man. the official count, but we got a whole bunch of 85 South Show babies out there, man. People be sending me pregnancy pictures. Do they send y'all this shit? Oh, you, yeah. know, you know what we need to do? We need to sell, I think we got some baby clothes. Some ones. We need to sell some ones and be we like, to feed in them. we need to say, where are all the 85 South Show babies? Don't just buy them and be like, hey, my baby. No, you have to have sex off the show and right. have the baby. Oh, we're going to get some onesies for babies that breastfeed yeah. that say we, And we want to see birth certificates. You know, what else, you know what motherfuckers be sending me? We need the onesies need that say titties in the building. Hell yeah, right. for the breastfeed. These birth certificates be sending me motherfucking clips of people watching porn and people fucking with us playing in the background. I How do you, you do that? <laughs> How do you fuck <laughs> here? Nigga, right. Right. Nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga. It's this one nigga, he make all his porn videos to the 85 South Show. <laughs> no. People, people send me the link. Where are royalty? You need some royalties, don't they? No, I was just glad to we see get more views. on X video. Yeah, yeah that's X what's video. running we, these views up. We on X For video. Yeah, that's we'll, crazy. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. That nigga was fucking a fat white bitch. All I heard in the background was, we in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I was watching. That's just the one that's that they the sent me. Right, that makes sense. He was we watching the right Minnesota. one if he was fucking a big white woman. That's what it is. <laughs> That's a win right there, nigga. Yeah, man. That nigga's stupid. We've been talking some good shit on this bitch. Wheelchair man been on, on the Listen, ground. Bro, cooking his doing? ass off. Listen, wheelchair, wheelchair man, man shit. Doing, man. Funniest nigga ever, bro. That nigga, you ain't see that nigga when he was joning on me, man. And oh, nigga nah, said, I ain't see that shit. you better put your goddamn hat back on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with this nigga, man? <laughs> this nigga just, man, listen. Hey, I, niggas up on the corner wait, like, he just went in on your stupid up. ass. The <laughs> wheelchair man fucked around and fell. He had got a new, uh, like right before he got his new wheelchair, that nigga hit me, he was like, he was off the ground for a couple of days because he fucked around and fell back. He had to wait on life alert to come get his ass. <laughs> No. He was the one joking about yeah, it. Don't feel bad. Listen, no. don't wait, feel bad. Wait, Let me wait. tell you something Stop. about wheelchair man. Stop that shit right now. I know wheelchair man. Listen, man. Hold on, like, hold on. So he you, fell and had to wait? Had to wait for a nigga to come Six get him. Six days yeah. for a nigga to come get him? Man, that nigga independent. He stayed by himself. No, but I'm saying, what was the life alert? The little button. Where was the button for? He had to wait six days. Yeah, he probably I ain't say it was six days. It was a couple hours oh. though. Listen, Why let me did tell you something about wheelchair man. Out. If you can take, if you if you want to look at anybody who appreciates life and ain't looking for no sympathy for no reason, you can draw from wheelchair man. Man, that nigga been like that forever. He will ride up and down the street in his wheelchair, talking, talking shit, talking shit, roasting everybody, and that's what he do. So wheelchair man <laughs> fail. And couldn't be found for six days. <laughs> this, 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 who the fuck in the background talking about Tony Baker, Baker crazy ass money? <laughs> that shit so goddamn funny when he be putting that sound on the back. Skip that, didn't he? That nigga, that's stupid as fuck, man. Yeah, that nigga. I fuck with wheelchair man. man. That's my nigga, wheelchair man. man. Wheelchair man, wheelchair man, keep your that. life alert around your neck, for man. For real. What's wrong what with was you? The, what was the life alert? For I him don't to, know. He had to crawl through. There you go, it. look. We need to call that nigga. Uh, that nigga's stupid. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> he going in on your ass. <laughs> How can you not love this nigga, man? Bro, listen, nigga, man. man. 
Listen, I'm that's what I'm saying. That's man. the bad thing. With a nigga like wheelchair bad, nigga, you think I ain't no confidence problems. I look at that nigga. I've been looking at that that's nigga for years. It's like man, what, man been on vibe. If that nigga can, if yeah, he was the shit it on went, vibe. Went, went, if, you, on vibe. if that man can walk around happy, man, you walk can too. Happy. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, you crazy, yeah, bro. I, yeah, that was. Yeah, that nigga stupid, fuck. You yeah. know what I meant. I just caught it too. <laughs> you know what I meant, wheelchair man. That was I was trying to be slick, my nigga. Look up on. My bad, wheelchair man. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> <laughs> if he, if he, <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. My bad, dog. My bad, cause you can't walk around, my nigga. But you, my nigga, if you could be happy, nigga, nobody got no excuse. Damn, my fault. <laughs> this nigga said, walk around happy. <laughs> nigga ain't shit, man. That nigga crazy, man. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey man, I don't want to be here no more. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas is retarded. Hey. Hey, uh, hey. You a fool, dude. All the way. Goodness oh. gracious. Give me the notes, man. Yeah. Did he we miss some shit? Anybody want? I don't think we missed nothing. We ain't. I don't know if you want to talk it's about. It's like number diabetes in that bag, right? Nah, yeah, fuck yeah, this shit so solid. I don't even like name dropping. Yeah, names. I know, right? So what I happened? I, none. Nothing. Fuck these people. Nothing. Yeah, 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 All right, man. Oh, Kanye running for president. Hey, come on, man. You're not going to do it? No. Nah, <laughs> <man. laughs> you see why this nigga, that's John John, man. You got to love this nigga, man. <laughs> oh, that we're not going to do? Hey, you know they said, uh. <laughs> I just oh, thought nah, we were talking about some other shit. Fuck but all that. That nigga, that man, crazy, man. Right, man. Hey. Right. Shout out to crazy, Keisha man. Lance Bottoms. Oh yeah, that shit, wow. Yeah. We probably accuse you, man. I know 2020 crazy when the governor suing the mayor. The so, fuck? Shit crazy, man. We living in crazy time, man. Uh-huh. They prayed up, man. Shit. Yeah, that's Auntie Maxine. We love you, Auntie Maxine. Well, that's Maxine, everybody, aunt. Maxine Waters gave me a kiss and told me I was a handsome man. Yeah, hey, that's a blessing. What happened? Right you cheek. have been christened. Auntie Maxine seen some police. You know, arresting somebody, and she got out to make sure they was doing their job. For real. By herself. Got out to monitor and make sure they was doing that. And she wasn't recording it or nothing. She really was out there like a re- like they used to do when the pre-surveillance, when everybody didn't have a camera, when it was all action. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, somebody that's... else recorded it. She was like, oh, yeah, uh, I'm just over here doing what I'm doing. Yeah, just making sure everything's OK. Hi, how y'all doing? No disrespect, but real I, I fuck with the entanglement with Maxine Waters. No disrespect. I know she'd be at the house wine drunk like yeah. a motherfucker, walking around with that, with that goddamn got slip a on. Puss. No, it, it, hey, it man, up. you niggas, man. She be having that. Uh-huh. Sh- Come on. Uh-huh. <laughs> that you slip niggas on. can't do that to Maxine. Got a little fuzzy wood. Got a little fuzzy wood. Maxine, we hope you love me. Got a little fuzzy wood. She should be cool uh-huh. enough to respect that we Miss, come on. Miss, Miss Waters. Miss it's Maxine. Miss Waters. Miss Maxine Waters. We I love you, Miss Maxine. You. She get on that's that what good, we do. that good Walmart wine. <laughs> ah! With that slip on with the fuzz. Ah! The fuzz that Walmart wine. Ah! That, that barefoot. <laughs> she get on that barefoot, that barefoot Moscato. What did say, Walmart wine? <laughs> what? She on that bare Maxine on that barefoot. She might watch us. What little do you know, Maxine and they off the barefoot? Somebody watching. gonna send her that clip and she gonna be like, I Hold don't up. drink no damn Let Walmart. Me see who the fuck y'all cheap <laughs> bullshit. It's Cabernet. What the fuck y'all talking about? Need to get on that Carlos Bernard. Hold up, hold up. For real, for real. Hold up. What, what happened? happened? I'm trying to see who the fuck y'all talking about. You don't know Maxine, Maxine Waters? Waters? You by yourself. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Hey, you by your motherfucking self. What I say last episode, I don't gotta ask you what I like. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the fuck? See, you got it. <laughs> Every picture she like. Oh. What if you fuck around and get in the entanglement with her? She see you with a young bitch. Reclaiming my dick. <laughs> 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 Move, young girl. 
Max Lee probably hit you like Earth the Kid on Boomerang. Have you been seeing these older women, <laughs> older women on TikTok talking shit like that? Uh-uh. Oh, it's hilarious, man. This is white lady on there. She was on, on TikTok. I got these titties right here. They still sit up. Oh yeah, I seen the I seen When the I run, they move just a little bit. They don't <laughs> sag down. See, you got them saggy titties. Man, that shit that <laughs> I seen an right. old white lady at the dinner table said, you know, my pussy never stinks. And the dude was like, come on, Granny, are we really gonna have this conversation? Well, it doesn't. <laughs> it never stinks. To her. Like, to her. <laughs> to I'm just about to say the old women to ones, they, get, they gotta be hey. right. Y'all forget. It was somebody who put their daddy on there. The, Y'all yeah. forget. You better on get the in TikTok, there. TikTok, the lady was in the kitchen cooking. She said, you not. Uh, she said, the only meat I don't wash is my hamburger meat. He said, I know some more meat you don't wash. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that nigga, man. <laughs> I'm right. watching all this shit. Yeah, but you know, the world is crazy right now. There's a motherfucker. I'm just glad we still on it. I'm glad we still yeah. on it, man. I just fought just in case y'all smell something. I knew you Respect. did. I heard it in my heart. Give me the spirit. Respect. I hey, tried man, to like be respect. soft, but it was like a lot of it. I was like, woo, that was gonna yeah, strike right now. Let, let's let's touch on that hey, man, real quick. Give a shout That's out to real nigga shit. Hey man, listen, man. If you bust off Slim, pause. If you fought, pause. pause. <laughs> man, God damn, you ain't even let me finish. Uh, you know I'm supposed to. <laughs> Talking about if you bust off, pause. Yeah. You ain't let me finish. That's I fought it. I fought it. I ain't do that. But they, 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 I fought it. They, yes, you did. You went ah, That's ah. Let a nigga know. Claim your motherfucking farts, man. Don't have a nigga confused like, come on, bro. Which one of y'all niggas shit out of me? You know your ass ain't do it. Nigga who did it, I always <laughs> smell it first. <laughs> Man, I gotta give a shout out to Backwoods for getting us high as hell. This <laughs> you episode. did it. They Backwoods! Did they did that. Shout out to Viola. Yeah. Viola. Al Harrington. Who's on man these? Weed, black man weed. Honey Bear, I know this ain't the kind you smoke. No need to leave 20 comments about oh, your yeah. personal yeah. preference. Shut your bitch ass up. And, and Viola, Keep smoking that mid. Salute to Al Harrington, man. Salute to all our partner, man. And salute to the Knuckleheads. Salute to the Knuckleheads podcast. Man. You know who else we got to give a shout out to? We fuck with y'all. I met y'all. I met Bye. you and them at the same time, man. We watch that, man. If you ain't watching the Knuckleheads, you you missing out on the dope ass sports podcast. We got to give a Bye. shout out to Wallow and Gilly, because niggas over there on the podcast shit been hating. Oh, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Salute oh, yeah. to Wallow and Gilly. Your podcast Gilly, ain't shit. That nigga Wallow funny as a mother. Let me tell you something, nigga. Yo, talk your shit. See, what you gotta understand is we from the bottom, nigga. Uh -huh. And you won't know nothing about the bottom because they don't fuck with you. Right! They don't fuck with you, nigga. Right! And see, that's what you gotta understand. See, they fuck with us on the bottom, nigga. So all that bullshit you talking about, nigga, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you think, nigga, because you not my kind of nigga. Right! That's how Wallow was, too. Let me tell you something, we own our shit. We own our IP address. We own everything, my nigga. Yeah. We own it. You know what I'm saying? One of the only, one of the only, one of the only podcasts out here. That nigga said podcasts out here <laughs> that own their IP. So just, just know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like these niggas, it's hilarious. Man, man shout out to the OGs, trying, man. Trying to hate on Wallow and Gilly, man. You got to be out of your motherfucking mind. Talk your shit. Some of the coldest niggas ever to do it. Man. OGs. Yeah, OGs, yeah. man. Salute to y'all. Put some respect on them niggas, man. man Gilly that can't. Fucking Gilly, Gilly that can't. Kid. Come on, man. That's the OG. Thousand ninety six diamonds, nigga. Fuck is you saying? I know what I'm talking. They might not know what I'm talking about, but I know what I I'm know, talking about. I know. Fuck <laughs> you. Streets no. Now the uh, nigga be like, also, what are you talking about? I just got this this good note. We got we can't leave without saying rest in peace to John Lewis and hey. C.T. Vivian. Hey. Salute. Thank you. R.I.P. to the OGs, man. To the OGs, man. to the ones that really walked that path, walked across them bridges right. when shit was really real. That's why y'all telling y'all niggas gotta go vote. Niggas like that was out here really scratching really it. Really catching ass I'm talking, about, I'm talking about getting the shit beat out of them. We gotta go vote. Singing songs, you know what I mean? That's how they was going, for real. And so C.T. Martin said he started the backpack shit. C.T. Martin? C.T. Vivian. Yeah, C.T. Vivian. Right, Not C.T. Vivian, but uh, John, John Lewis. Lewis. John Lewis started the backpack shit. Yeah, man. I mean, that, that, was, a, that was a turbulent time right <laughs> there. He looked at me and said, C.T. Barton. Oh, yeah, I, I thought that was another nigga. I, ain't, I wasn't hip to. Barton and Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> Ringling, bro. <laughs> Tiny Archibald. <laughs> <laughs> He said, Bottom and Bailey. Oh man, that was funny, boy. 
Kevin huh? Garnett. I hope he get the Timberwolves, I hope he man. get that motherfucker, too. Any nigga deserve to own the Timberwolves is Kevin Garnett. Exactly. Oh, he stayed with their ass for so long. Well, for shit. real, boy. He could have been got the fuck he off. He could have been got rid of that entanglement. He that looked nigga like was entangled mascot. for years over that motherfucker. I'm like, boy. nigga, you already a wolf, nigga, move. <laughs> right. Yeah, I hope he do it. I hope he do it too. I hope he get more of that. Not that bullshit where they try to sell a nigga 0.9% of yeah, the team. Yeah, exactly. Nigga. Sell that nigga all up. All the whole team. Right. They say they about to put the Jordan logo on the jerseys and shit too. Yeah, for real. Yeah, they, he deserve. He deserve to be the logo. If you if you why you bullshit. He deserve. He the to be reason the why they overseas so well. They gotta change that logo to Kobe Bryant though. Yeah, eventually. either that yeah. Or, or Jordan. One of the two. Yeah. You know what I mean? One of the two. You niggas excited about the rec league? This great come on next week. Whatever. Nope. Whatever. Niggas what is that? Be playing live rec league, my nigga. It's about rec to be league? real. I hope they don't block the full, sound out. Is it full court? Ooh, it's about. They gonna have to put that shit on HBO at league? night. What is rec league? I mean, I'm talking about the basket, but NBA grade start back. You know and what it's man? called rec league. I mean, they playing because ain't no fans there. It's like they playing in the rec, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm just, I just hope they let the sound play. Right. All them niggas gonna be talking so much good shit. Yeah, nigga, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> LeBron, you bitch, nigga. I know that's a motherfucking headpiece, bitch ass nigga. Oh! <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hey, Kawhi, laugh, nigga. Oh, nigga, I'm telling you, it's going down. Hey, if you don't smoke with a nigga, this the season to do it. <clears throat> it ain't enough people to break up the fight. Right. Nope. Right. Hit his ass. I just want to hit his shit. Nah, shit nah. dead talk, nigga. Tell me that. Tell me that. Y'all, nigga, that. you don't understand what I'm saying. Oh, three. I'm telling you, it's going down, nigga. You can punch yeah, the ref now. Shut shit. the fuck up, ho ass nigga. Tech, 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 then. Ain't nobody in here, tech. Tech, nigga, where you gonna send me, nigga, back to the bubble? Fuck you, talking about, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Tech get thrown out the game. Nigga, all we on top. Tech! And they talking about the NFL coming back, too. If the NFL coming back, they said they gonna play the, the black national anthem. How about you let some black motherfuckers own some teams? Anthem? How about you let some black people buy the team? Lift every voice. Lift every voice and sing. Lift every voice and sing. Y'all know we've been singing Canadian and shit too. Old Canada. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I don't know why we do. But but hey, if we want to make some real change, let some black people buy some teams, man. How about that? Let us. No, no, fuck that. Give a nigga one. Y'all always want to take better. the politically correct approach. And you got and to pay the niggas, say too, we niggas. Man, you give a nigga one of them teams. You got 32 of them bitches. You put, right. Give a nigga one. Give us, everybody the, trying give to us whatever shit. you about to change the Redskins to, Why don't you get it like everybody else? Because, bitch, my granddaddy dead and he died. He, he didn't steal nothing for he died. Your granddaddy stole a lot of shit and left you some. Give me some of yours. <laughs> Yeah, take that. Yeah, but well, I'm, I'm not above that shit. Stop acting all like we can't get some shit for free. They did it. Well, we'll just get ours the old-fashioned way. No, the fuck we won't. That's why we don't got shit now. Waiting on shit. <laughs> well, why don't you build your credit and get some equity and then maybe we'll look? No, bitch. Give it to me. I want to use some of the Confederate money your granddaddy left under that big ass house. Don't <laughs> kill shit. I want my shit easy. Fuck yeah. going to school and getting a degree, bitch. Give it to me. They gave it to your bitch ass. <laughs> well, you Tell know, me. money, money is the most evil thing. You'll never appreciate it if somebody give it to you. Bitch, let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Let me uh, figure it out. Give me 50 generations to fuck up some paper with no consequences. We'll figure it out right. like y'all did, bitch. Right. You got 44 At acres. least teach me how to steal like y'all do. How y'all cheating on all these taxes? How the stock market work? I want to steal with y'all. I want to be an equal opportunity American. I want the same amount of privileges as an old white bitch. <laughs> Don't nobody in America tell old white bitches what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. That's 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 no they are on. the most free <laughs> motherfuckers in not, America. You can see when they get confronted no, by the masks. No, nigga. not the Karens. The bitches older than them. The ones that call you boy. <laughs> Talk your shit. Miss Carolyn and them. Them bitches with them big old antebellum houses look like museums. Look like they rent them bitches out for Easter egg hunts and shit like that. <laughs> that Mississippi shit. Right. <laughs> Talk your shit. Bitch on a whole town in Illinois somewhere. You know the one. Cruella DeVille. 
<laughs> Bitches who buy them expensive Tory Burch bags. Yeah, them long cigarettes. Yeah, smoke they smoke them Capri, <laughs> them long skinny motherfuckers. They smoking a goddamn incense. Huh? Yeah, goddamn Golden Girls now. Oh my God. Don't nobody in America tell old white bitch what to do. Why you think white people hate their grandma so much? Cause they live too fucking long. Out here holding up the inheritance. Bitch got ninety billion dollars. <laughs> be a hundred and six. Well, I just had you out the way, I got it all. Already. <laughs> you petty. You holding on to shit. She talking shit too. Well, Fuck I'm just you. gonna leave all the money to the cat. Y'all can have it. Ah! <laughs> ah! Gave this bitch a sponge bath and everything. All them fucking moles. Skin like leather. It don't even absorb water. <laughs> bitch, who remember when the Nickelodeon was open? I remember when you can get a coke for a nickel. <laughs> Nigga said a, a skin feel like leather. <laughs> this nigga is crazy, hey, man. man. I remember when you can get a coke for a nickel. <laughs> Thank you for helping me, young man. Here's a quarter. Bitch, give me some of that money. What? Uh. <laughs> I want to live like white folks. Ain't nothing uh. wrong with that shit. I want to live like that. That shit's so goddamn funny. Motherfuckers who've been rich crazy. since the 1800s. Ooh. Them. Them. Yeah. Exactly. That's wealthy shit right there. Yeah, right, man. the motherfuckers have been rich since the day. Like, damn! Hey, T-Bone got to crank up. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna be rich as the 1800s. Yeah, yeah. Right. All their favorite songs start off like this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if we're ever down in Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, retarded, oh, bro. Well, This nigga is crazy, bro. Whoa, what's that? Please. Oh, it's all hard, bro. Hey, man. We got to get the oh, fuck out of here. Oh, I love y'all niggas, man. Oh, my man, God. Man, y'all niggas bro. stay safe. We're about hit to go hit put our. We're going wheel. to put our masks back on right, right. now. Fuck. We got to hit them with a farewell, Logan. Oh. <laughs> if you're ever down in Dixie. <laughs> Hey, man. Uh, uh, I met a gal with oh. some big old legs. <laughs> oh, shit. Goddamn quartet. The barbershop quartet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all know what's coming up here from, from the barbershop quartet from the 85 Times Show starring Carlo Spiller. <laughs> this one here is a brand new one. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, for that side of radio, you to sell gay, ladies and gentlemen. We're live here, and we're coming to you right now with a brand new one from the Barbershop Quartet. What are we doing, my soul? Starring Carl Miller, she'll be in DC on the fly. Oh! <laughs> 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 if you're ever down in Dixie. Hey! Hey man, Save take me this shit a off, man. Seat. Take it off, man. Hey man, this is take the 85 South man. Show. Still is the 85 South man. Show. Always will take be the 85 man. South Show, cause can't nobody find us, bitch. Man, hey, we just got fired though, man. Y'all make sure y'all continue to support us. Watch everything. Go back and watch all the shit. We need you right now. Oh. Right one now, time, though, before right we now, go. Right now is the time that we need Wait, you. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get out of here, hope oh, my oh. lights off. Oh, I had to take my mic back. Make sure you hear me sound. We got a brand new one by the Barbershop Quartet over the 85 <laughs> South Show, starring Carlos Miller, DC Young Fine, Chico Bing. <laughs> Oh my goodness.